sorry about that, babe. There you go, the bright and cheery intro to Final Fantasy Mystic Quest on the SNES. Let's get started. Great soundtrack, by the way. Alright, so this is a, uh, a cartridge that I've had actually since high school. Um, I actually got it at a local video game store named Mr. Video, obviously. Well, long out of business. Uh, I walked in one day to rent a movie for the weekend. Probably like sophomore year of high school or something like that, so 2004. Um, and they had five Super Nintendo games for sale. They had Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy 3, NBA Jam, and Mega Man X. And they were all $2 a piece. I was in heaven, dude. That's like five absolute bangers. But anyways, let's get started here with a new game. Oh wait, how do I delete? There we go. Alright, um... You know what? We're just gonna continue on with Razor. You guys are gonna get sick of seeing Razor's name. But my boy deserves to be honored until the end of time. Bill of Destiny. This is my first ever playthrough, so. My village is gone. What on earth is going on? This place is gonna sink at any second. Let's climb up quick. So I do know that uh, this is seen as a beginner's RPG. Press the B button to jump across, okay. So we'll see how it is. Uh, all I know is it has an amazing soundtrack. I like the general aesthetic of the game, and I realize that it is a quote-unquote beginner's RPG and a lot more simple. Um, but you know what, I'm kind of in the mood for that right now, so. Look over there, that's the Focus Tower, once the heart of the world. An old prophecy says, the Vile Four will steal the power and divide the world behind four doors. And at that time, the night will appear. The prophecy has now come true. Four monsters have locked the doors of the Focus Tower and escaped with the keys. They're draining the light from the four crystals of the earth and the world is in chaos. The people are in desperate need of help. Razor, only you could save the crystals and the world. Final Fantasy loves their crystals, you know what I'm saying? Me? Yes, you, Razor. Only you could be the knight spoken of in the prophecy. Oh shit! Look out! A monster! Alright, we have Behemoth. So, uh, I showed you guys in the intro, but I have this complete in box. So I have the manual, the map, and I also have the official uh, strategy guide. I realize this game's not that difficult or anything, but I will be utilizing the strategy guide because, I mean, if I fucking have it, why am I not going to use it? So, and also, I think it's, like, interesting to give you guys little tidbits here and there from the guide itself. The behemoth will find you as you talk uh, to White on the Hill of Destiny. Why has he come to hurt you? Since the only weapon you have is a sword, use it to thrash the beast, and don't stop until you've thrashed it. Behemoth attacks with horn. Okay, so... Damn, our health pool is kind of small. It's looking like we're, what, about like 30 or 36 health? Oh, we got a crit, though. Oh, shit. Be I love how Behemoth is the first enemy. One of the more intimidating enemies in the first few Final Fantasies. I mean, all of them, really, but... Seems as I was right. At last, I found a true knight. But you said you were sure I was the one. Well, actually, it was more of a guess. <laughs> Forget it, just tell me where I can find the crystals. It's up to you to find them. This place is becoming dangerous. Follow me to the level forest. The fuck? Gotta get out of here. Who's that guy anyway? So I'm not controlling this, by the way. This is on rails at the moment. Okay, so the Hill of Destiny is no longer... Um, and we're going to the level forest. I also want to point out that a few friends of the channel, uh, Freakswat and Jimmy, have played through this game. Freakswat actually streamed the entire game. 
but I didn't watch all of it because I wanted to play it myself. So there's that. Level Forest. There you are. What do you think I should do first? Save the Crystal of Earth. See you! <laughs> Damn, alright. Looking around here. Okay, so we can attack and jump with B. And jumping automatically moves us forward. So can I jump over the trees? Cut the trees? No. Okay, noted. This game sort of reminds me of almost like a Game Boy game, but like with like juiced up uh, graphics and soundtrack, which again isn't a bad thing. That boulder is blocking my way back to town. Would you shove it aside? Sure. Can I, can I jump over it? Oh, okay. Interesting. Thank you. If you want to go through this forest, find Kaylee in Foresta. And show her this. Received Tree Wither. Uh, after I uh, play tonight, I'm probably going to look through my instruction manual and stuff just to get a little bit more backstory. You know how it be. Found Cure Potions. Alright, so start brings up the menu. Uh, we have three Cure Potions and that Tree Wither thing. I'm assuming, yeah, magic left. We have three white and one black. So what do we got over there? Let's see. I don't see a spell. We have the steel armor. Steel sword. There is our overall stats. And let's see here. Oh, interesting. So you can go with the scale of the figure. I actually think I like the figure more. I do know that later on the scale gets a little bit more... I wouldn't say it's confusing, but it's a little bit, um... What be the word? I don't know, long-winded in a sense, where uh, the more HP you get, that scale actually stays the same. You get, like, fucking... You get little dots or something, squares, dots, below it. Uh, kind of similar to, I guess, Metroid. Like, when you get over the uh, 100 health threshold. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with the figure. Um, it looks like I can't control much else right now. We'll do fast message speed. And this is, you know, your typical Final Fantasy color. Let's see if I want to go with something else, though. Yeah, let's do that so we can't read it, right? How about that? I always found red to be cool, but it just seems a little bit harsh. And black, obviously, is a little boring. Take forever here on you guys, I'm sorry. So I can't change the text color. It sort of sucks. Mm, I think I might go with... I think I want to go with like a bluish green. Let's go with this. I like it. And we're just gonna save over the first save here. Perfect. Alright, let's get cracking. So, I don't think we can go back that way. Does this guy have anything new to say? Thank you. Have you seen Kaylee yet? No, I have not. Alright. Chill. Did I just leave the fucking forest? What the fuck? <laughs> So I can't jump over trees. It's funny because, you know, scaling in games, right? <clears throat> I can't jump over the tree, but I could jump over the guy. Like, what up with that, you know what I'm saying? Does this refill? Oh my god, dude. So, can you seriously just keep leaving and getting potions? Hold up. Hold the phone. Oh my god, it looks like you can just keep farming for potions, dude. Well, you know what? 
I'm gonna do that a couple more times just to stock myself up. I mean, fuck, if it's in the game, it's in the game, you know? <clears throat> so I guess I have to go to Foresta next. It doesn't look like I could uh, advance anywhere else. We'll grab one more batch of potions. And then we'll, uh, we'll move on. I'm assuming we go to Foresta. Because it doesn't look like we're able to chop or jump over any trees at the moment, so... Yep, alright. Can I... Oh, okay, X is quick save, interesting. Y does nothing. Alright, let's use a potion. Cool. Yeah, you could sit there for like, what, probably like... Three minutes real time, probably, and get up to 99 potions just like that. And we have Foresta. What is shaking the fucking... My microphone keeps shaking tonight. I don't know why. Oh my god, I love this soundtrack, man. It's so good. Strange trees are growing in the level forest. The crystal of earth to the north is in the bone dungeon. Okay. I'm assuming I get an upgrade to cut trees down later. That would make sense, right? If you're tired, have a rest on that bed. More potions. Can you save all four crystals? Can I sleep in your bed, bro? No. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Free heal. Like I said, I uh, I watched Freak play this here and there, but I didn't really like pay super close attention because I wanted to play it myself, and I like doing things, you know, essentially as blind as possible, right? Especially considering this is my first ever playthrough, um, so I don't really know all the mechanics yet. Jumping seems cool. Thanks for the help back there. Take the chest in the back. Uh, oh. How the fuck did I get there? <laughs> I don't think I could jump over there. Can I push these? They look... These ones right here look slightly different. Am I seeing things or is it an optical illusion? The ring on them looks uh, a little bit more pale, I guess, than the others, but doesn't look like I do anything. Hmm. We have a crystal ball that's also uh, non-interactive unless I could jump on it. Nope. All right. How do I get there? Oh, I jump. I see. I see. I'm Kaylee. There's a tree blocking north exit of the level forest. I could chop the, down the tree, but the monsters have taken over the forest and I can't get to it. I could help you with that. Come on, let's go. Don't you dare take Kaylee anywhere dangerous. Listen, Mom. Hey, that tree with it looks awful. How much the trees must be suffering. Okay, you win. Oh shit, an axe wielder. Don't worry, Mom. Alright, so she can cut down the trees. That's cool. Which means we can get to uh, that treasure chest now in here. My husband Mac forgot his captain cap. I hope nothing happens. Can I switch between characters? Manual, auto. Okay, so you can set them to manual or auto in battle. Um... trying to see if I could switch to Kaylee to chop, you know, chop the trees and stuff. Hmm. More potions. I don't know uh, how much there is in this game in the way of, like, secrets. Like, uh, can you examine things that aren't typically examined? Stuff like that. I don't really know. <clears throat> The monster could drain energy from a person. I'm really just a child. Oh shit. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, babe. Alright, so with Kaylee, shouldn't we be able to cut these down now? 
Do we just have the ability with her in our party? Hmm. Oh, maybe select. No? I am a bit befuddled. I shall consult the guide in a second. After we jump here and get the, uh... Secret item in the back of this dude's house. Looks like a spell book of some sort. I keep pressing the wrong button for the, uh... Menu. Cure... Life. So does that mean I'm gonna have... Two left? Okay. I wonder how magic reallocates. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Um... I'm curious. So it looks like she... has elemental... Is that weakness? I'm assuming that's like... An elemental strength, wind and water. And then I don't necessarily know what the defense is. This is why I want to read through stuff after I'm done recording tonight. Um. Hmm. Well, and icons. So I can chop trees down with the axe, which is what I figured. It says. Uh, Kaylee's trusty weapon made of steel and lacking any magical properties. Press the A button while in icons to chop down the trees. So obviously chopping is pressing A, which I knew. Um, but... I don't know how to access icons? Whatever the fuck that is. Hmm... I guess I'll teach this to Kaylee, because she has better, uh, stuff uh, than I do right now. HP. Her HP is way higher than Razor's. It's actually kind of fucking bonkers. Oh, okay, I see. Is there anything hidden here? Probably not. Just going for a dip, right? What does this guy have to say? I've turned into an old man. Okay. So how do I... chop stuff down, though, dude? <clears throat> I'm confused. I might have to consult the actual manual for that. I'm gonna do that right now, actually. I'm obviously missing something, even though I felt like I pressed every single friggin' button. So what do we got here? Uh, probably page 12. Damn, this instruction manual is in great shape, by the way. It's pretty crazy. Exiting icons. Okay, how do you do this? Once you enter an icon, be sure to remember what entrance looks like. Wait, what? On icons. But how do I... So icons are the things on the map. But how do I, like, use Kaylee's axe, though? Tell me. Yeah, I know that. I had to change from manual to whatever for the battle. Jump, chop a tree. Whenever you're in an icon world, you could use your weapons for purposes other than fighting. For example, you could use... Oh, uh, do I have to give him the axe? Is that how that works, maybe? Let's see. It's a little clunky right now, I can't front. So how the fuck, how do I chop, maybe, okay, hold on. Let's see something. Let's go back to level forest and see if it like auto switches via like, you know, sort of an in-game cutscene or something along those lines. 
Okay, that's kind of what I was thinking. Is she gonna show me how? Let me cut this with my axe. You gotta reach the north exit. Okay, like, so, what's up? Can I cut shit now? Yo, you're killing me, Kaylee. Killing me, bruh. Hmm. I'm confused, dude. Um, one hand kind of trees out her axe. So it looks like I can't control her right now, so I can't access that item yet. Um, Kaylee's trusty weapon. It says to press A though. Huh. But here's the all right. Here's the part that's confusing the fuck out of me, guys. This could be much ado about nothing, right? The only reason I'm fucking doing this is because I'm such a completionist, I want to get everything. From the screenshots that I'm seeing, the main character is using the axe. Do I find an axe? It's saying to use Kaylee's axe. How do I use Kaylee's axe, though? I'm pressing every button combination possible. L and R doesn't do shit. Select doesn't do anything. Start brings up the menu, right? These cancel, this is that. These jump on here. X brings up quick save. Y does nothing but switch auto and manual. And this doesn't cut anything. And if I go to weapons... I can't unequip shit, though. It's, like, already equipped. Okay, I can do that now... Well, I guess I won't worry about it, guys. Figure it out later, right? Maybe I have to go through here and then I get the ability to do it. I don't know. Let's start fighting. One of the greatest SNES songs ever. This one right here. Absolute fucking banger, dude. Alright, so we got item, spell, defense, attack. We will uh, attack and see what kind of damage we do. Hmm. That's right. I remember the sprites change a lot in this game as they get damaged. Which is super cool. Um, which, by the way, holy shit, Kaylee is a brick shit house compared to Razor. Alright. I also get to see how this game handles um, attacking enemies. Since it is the SNES era, I'm sure that there is um, auto retargeting. We'll find out right now. Okay, good. In the very early NES games, uh, there was no auto retargeting present, so. For example, in Final Fantasy 1 on the NES, if you attacked the same enemy and it died, the second attack, or whatever, would attack the air, essentially. <clears throat> Alright. In that case, we're going to be doing a lot of button mashing in this game. <laughs> but it's okay. The regular battle music, in my opinion, is better than the boss music. But also, in saying that, the boss music is fucking, like, really cool. I still feel like I'm missing something, dude. I still feel like I'm missing something here. Built-in clock, tips on saving, battle, items, weapons, uh... Uh, I just got the spoiler alert, people. I looked into the uh, instruction manual. It says in the weapon section that Kaylee gives us the axe. So there you go. No more fretting. We are, um, since I am a grinder by nature, guys, I will be fighting everything possible. Hey, Razor leveled up twice already. God damn! That tree is on fire. Probably use a uh, cure potion 
after this fight. But, uh, yeah, since obviously, you know, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest is seen as a beginner's RPG, you know, for the dumb Americans that knew nothing of RPGs back then. Uh, I mean, you could definitely tell, like, a big difference between the beginning of this game and Breath of Fire. You could legitimately fucking get killed easily at the beginning of Breath of Fire, right? Where this game, it looks like it's mostly mashy mashy the buttons, which, again, kind of what I'm in the mood for. And I do know that it can get a little bit tricky later on. <clears throat> Alright, well, Razor has caught up to Kaylee, which is great. And apparently, we can't hit shit. Just missing. set to auto for a little while with Kaylee. Um, I'm not a huge fan of auto battling, but in certain instances, like such as this one, I feel like it's actually, you know, somewhat useful, right? If we're basically just mashing buttons and not really thinking about stuff, you might as well set it to auto. Alright, so we grabbed, what were those, heal potions? I keep pressing X, dude, to get up the fucking menu. It's going to be a minute for me to get used to that. So what does the heal potion do? I'm assuming, uh, you know, cure, obviously, HP, and heal probably uh, heals like poison and shit. You never know, though. I'm telling you. Sometimes these games like to switch shit around on you. Uh, recovers health. Poison, petrify, etc. during, after battle, find in chess, use anytime. So that's funny. The cure potion in the instruction manual says recovers vitality, and heal potion says recovers health. And, you know, sometimes both of those could be seen as the same thing, but I get what they're going with. Uh, your health is, not in essence, your, uh, your status, if you will. This is the evil tree I was talking about. Oh, shit! <laughs> Surprise! Damn, we didn't heal up for this. He poisoned me, just as he did the trees. Okay. Oh shit, Minotaur, bro. Again? Pretty sick fucking song, right? Whew! Yo, the composer of this fucking game? Total G. And if I remember correctly, I think I... Isn't it a woman composer? Like, isn't it not like the typical Final Fantasy guy? I don't think it's Nobu Uematsu for this one. I could be wrong, though. And if I am wrong on all fronts, I apologize. Alright, well, relatively easy. Kaylee, what happened? I'll be okay as soon as I take Elixir. Yo, bro, you're not using an Elixir this early. Get out of here. That's in the Sand Temple. Don't worry, I'll get it. Take this axe with you. See the axe. I'll be back. Alright, so now I have the axe, right? Alright, there we go. Oh shit. Just chopping stuff down now. Pretty cool. I like that. So. Now, I wonder. Are they gonna, like, hide stuff ever underneath these? Probably not, right? Cure potions. I wanted to go back uh, to the main town real quick just to see what was there. Well, not main town, but Foresta. Right, because there was something down here, if I remember correctly. Yep. Cure potion. What's going on down there? Am I able to chop my way through, or do I leave the, uh, the town right away? I leave the town right away. It would have been interesting to see if there was some kind of, like, long-winded secret, right? Um, yes, I think I'm done here. 
Battlefield round 10 of 10, huh? Okay. Sure. Oh, boy. Mad plants. Let's see how our axe is. Good start. <laughs> Good fucking start. There we go. That's what I like to see, baby. Holy shit! I am, like, dead dead. Oh, I didn't mean to use the potion again. That's my bad. As long as I don't miss, I mean, I'll be able to fucking... There we go. There we go. Yo, this song, man, I'm telling you. Telling you. There we go. Alright, cool. So, hmm. Do we grind the battlefield right away? Interesting. Interesting dynamic, indeed. Uh, so our main goal is to go to the Sand Temple to get the Elixir. Um, but part of me is like, shit, man. Let's fucking grind this battle thing. I kind of like it. Uh, which was the house that had the free rest? This one? <clears throat> I know I could just keep getting infinitely spawned, uh, cure potions, but... I'm actually not a huge fan of that. But since it's so easy to do and it's obviously directly in the game, it's not cheating. Um, I'll do it from time to time, but I kind of wish the, the uh, chest stayed, you know, empty. Alright, let's go. So, I can't tell if the enemy's evasion is high or if the axe is, like, just like a very shitty fucking, you know, hit percentage or whatever. I gotta get a hit here, dude. Finally. Maybe it's just artificial difficulty so you don't rip through here. <clears throat> Yeah, now all of a sudden, I'm hitting every time, right? Eight more to go, so can I... Okay, I see. Oh, I get it now. I get it now, so... I have five more white usages until I rest, I'm assuming. So that is actually somewhat similar to uh, like the first Final Fantasy. Doesn't look like you have MP, you have usages, which is it's cool. I'm okay with that. All right, let's save and let's continue on here with the battlefield. Uh, I think I'll battle this to five and then I'll jump over to the Sand Temple. Good start. Good start. Alright, just pop right back in. Oh shit, we got poison toad. Oh boy. Thank goodness. Gotta take care of those guys. I'm assuming uh, the further that I go down here in the uh, the battle hole, if you will, I'm sure it'll be uh, tons of poison boys. I'd say that's good for now. And we are now at the Sand Temple, which is where the elixir is. Oh, another great track, dude. Listen to this. A 
I'm not even kidding, I get like goosebumps listening to the soundtrack. It's so good. Oh my god, tell me this is it. Oh, empty? What the fuck? Is this... Looking for some cure, kid? First of all, my name is Razor, and I'm looking for Elixir. I'll sell you some for, say, 9,000 GP. Well? Whoa, that's way too much. Listen, kid, this stuff is precious, right? My allowance is only 2 GP a month. Then let's do it this way. I'm going to the Bone Dungeon to find treasure. You come with me and help. If I get the treasure, you get the elixir. Do I have any choice? When do we go? There's a battlefield nearby. Why don't you whack a few monsters there and maybe win something, kid? The name's Razor. Tristam joined. Oh shit, he's a ninja. Interesting stuff. Alright, well, I mean, there's a battlefield here. I guess we'll... Oh yeah, let's fucking clear it. Fuck it, dude. Fuck it. Now I guess my question is, does he run out of throwing stars? Or does he get them replenished upon rest? Interesting, I know. Oh, I forgot he said the auto. My bad. Three more to go. And again, in case you're wondering why the uh, post-battle text screens are going so quick, it's because I jacked up the message speed to one. Anything to speed up stuff like this, I'm all for, you know? Unless it's dirty fast-forwarding and emulation. Okay? You gotta grind for real, or you don't earn it. That's how I... That's how I feel. I'm telling you. Like, all the uh, quality of life things, like, for Switch games, right? Re-releases, like, let's say you're playing Shining Force on the, uh... Sega Genesis Collection, or whatever, I'm assuming the online stuff that they just came out with, too. I ain't pressing the rewind button, dude. If you die, fucking eat it, take it like a man, and restart your shit. Alright? It's part of the journey. I don't want to wax philosophically here, right? Oh damn, I leveled up twice? Already cleaned out. Alright, let's stop back at, uh, Foresta. Take a little siesta. I'm rhyming. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get on my pedestal. If you're playing a game, do it for real, okay? Stuff like Game Genie and cheat codes or fucking save states and rewinds, Save that shit for when you're a kid, okay? I, I don't care how preachy I sound. Beat the game. Don't cheat. It's been a PSA. Hope you all take it to heart. Okay, on to the Bone Dungeon. Yeah, I think I'll go there. I'll do the battlefield or something after. Let's fight some lizards? Basilisks, oh boy. Well, hopefully they don't turn me to stone, dude. Don't put ah, oh, you fucker. Yo, poison is no joke. Holy. I do not know a magic spell for that either. I do have these, but. God damn, dude. I guess I'm gonna take them out first, huh? <clears throat> we got the basilisks. Also, it looks like the throwing stars do not replenish. So I'm going to assume that Tristam uh, probably isn't in for the long haul, or you find more throwing stars in treasure chests. Also, if you don't like, uh, random- well, not even random encounters, you see them. If you don't like encounters and grinding, then you're probably not gonna like this playthrough, because I'm gonna kill everything. There we go. Ninja stars. Speak it into existence. Set it to auto for now. <laughs> so 
So I'm guessing the sand, the way it moves, is probably like if you were to step on that, it probably uh, moves you along in a quick fashion. Damn, dude. Chill. Alright, let's use a cure. Dude, I'm gonna keep pressing the fucking... <laughs> the fucking X button. Bring out my menu. It's just like a more natural thing, you know? Now we got chests everywhere. You know, I actually might slow the dialogue. Now that I'm thinking about it. I legitimately can't even read some. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's see what two... Two brings me. Alright, we gotta kill these toads, dude. Did it say it was strong against a ninja star? Huh. Well. Regardless, y'all dead, so... Eat it. Well, we've basically been striking for- Yo, wrong fucking person, dude. We're gonna get poisoned now. Alright, I'm turning that shit off. Oh, thank goodness we striked first, so yeah, there we go. I guess instead of saying strike first, it would've been better if it kept along that same verbiage of, like, uh, surprise the enemy or something like that. Because that's really what that was. Strong against poison attack. Okay. Mm. Fucking Tristam is a tank. All right. against that axe, though. Alright, what do we got? Better be something good. For all my troubles. More ninja stars. I mean, yeah, it's alright, I guess. I'm tempted to go on the sand just to see what happens. out the toad first. So it seems like when the message speed is set to 1, I'm allowed to uh, just hold the button down. And when it's set to 2, I have to manually click through. So I think I'm probably going to go back to 1. Oh, there we go. So it just moves you along at a uh, leisurely play, uh, pace. It's not really crazy. I thought it was gonna like shoot me all the way into the enemy without me even having a chance. I actually still had to walk into the enemy there at the end. Yeah. Message speed one definitely uh, makes the grind go a lot quicker. Fine by me. All right, let's kill these dudes. So the one thing that uh, I wanted to think about again is... <sighs> Fuck, dude. Do these enemies stay dead or do they respawn? They probably respawn, right? I mean, it's not a big deal. But I wanted to check the... Uh... Let's go back in and see. They respawn. That's fine. That's fine. I wanted to check out this battlefield. Because I was supposed to get a treasure, right? And I did not get anything, to my knowledge, uh, from the other battlefield. So let's try clearing this shit. See what's up.
Because Tristan definitely said I'm supposed to get a treasure. So, I better not be lying. And when we go back to the uh, the bone dungeon or whatever, I'm just going to go straight ahead so you don't have to do one fight, right? Oops, did not mean to do that. I could edit these fights out, but sometimes I feel like, eh, because like, what if, I don't know, what if I get crit attacked a bunch of times and I start missing, and I'm not, you know, like not paying attention, right, and I end up dying or something? Keep that in for the lulls. I was also fucking around with, uh, I'm now editing my videos with DaVinci Resolve, um, and I was messing around with the speeding up the footage stuff? Man, it was fucking weird. I tried to speed up some footage in my Shining Force playthrough, and... I don't know, the way that I did it or something, I don't know if I did it wrong, but it fucked up my whole, like, timeline. So I just opted to, like, completely cut stuff out, because... Typically, like, if I'm doing an RPG and I'm grinding like this, and I feel like you don't need to see it, then I enjoy speeding up the footage, because, in a way, you still get to see it, you know what I mean? As opposed to completely cutting it out and being like, hey guys! I beat nine fucking monster layers. Here's number ten. But yeah, whatever the hell was going on with it, dude, it was like... Not happy. Um, I was trying to speed up the footage in the first fight, because I usually grind the first fight in Shining Force like two or three times. And when I did it, it was like, I don't know. When it was done with the fast forwarding, it like fucking fast forwarded me into the middle of the third fight somehow. It completely just demolished my timeline and I don't understand why. But, not a big deal. And all I'm gonna say is if I don't get a fucking prize here for clearing out this lair, your boy's gonna be pissed. So my first impressions now, um, I'm about 45 minutes or so into the actual game probably, is uh, the presentation is, is nice, it's clean, I love the soundtrack, uh, I like some of the jumping mechanics and cutting things down. It is definitely on the repetitive side, not saying that, you know, other JRPGs from this era aren't as well. But yeah, doing stuff like having these uh, these battlefields, right, and then promising gear or something at the end of it is very enticing. <laughs> but it is very grindy. I'm essentially sitting here holding the A button down. Uh, at least at this point of the game, there isn't much strategy going on. But we'll see what we get here. Hopefully something good. We want a charm. Okay, we cleared all those. Let's actually go back to... Uh, Foresta and see if maybe... Damn, dude, poison doesn't even affect you outside of battle in this game. It's so generous. Wow. That's crazy. Figured I would rest here for free. We are cured of poison. Great. Bang, bang, bang. More cures. Alright, what do we got here? Item. Uh, armor? Defense power one. Okay. Let's see, the strategy guide says, Charm. After clearing out the ten rounds worth of monsters in this battlefield, you'll win a prize, the Charm Pendant. Made out of a mysterious emerald-colored material, the Charm Pendant instantly increases your defensive abilities. So, doesn't appear to be anything hidden there. It is a straight plus one. Which, you know, whatever. We got experience and we got a charm. I'll take it. Alright, now time to head back to the Bone Dungeon, and we are gonna just shoot straight forward. It looks like this is actually only the entrance, unless I'm, uh, unless I'm wrong. Mm. 
<clears throat> God, it's probably like the 19th time I've mentioned it in my playthroughs, but I need a new computer chair, dude. This one's falling apart. Alright. Let's see. Bone Dungeon... Or dungeon, excuse me. Basement 1. Doing some jumping. So we can go into that mouth over there, it appears. Um... Probably jump over that as well. Or not. Hmm. Might need some other type of item in order to... Remove that bone structure. Bing, bing. Bing, 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 bing. So not having random battles also makes uh, dungeons a lot easier. You can freely explore. <clears throat> the door's sealed shut. Well, here goes. Watch this. Oh, shit. Aren't these something? I'll sell you some cheap. How about 50 explosives for 30 GP? I don't even know how much GP I have, but I'll say okay. Already is bomb. Oh, wait. Uh, how do I... Huh? Weapons. Can I, like... Oh, what? Okay, so you can switch between weapons with L and R, huh? Cool. Alright, let's go see if we can blow up that bone with uh, the bomb. Well, I'm glad that you could actually use L and R, because I was, uh... Not necessarily annoyed, but a little... Concerned if I had to constantly go into the menu to shift stuff. Nice, dude. Ooh, a steel shield. I don't think I had a shield before, so. Hey, that's pretty sick. I'll take that. Now let's go back to the original door that uh, Tristan blew up. Tristum, excuse me. Alright. We have some enemies that we're gonna fucking kill. How about it? These guys look fucking creepy, actually. They're cracked out. Oh man, they're weak to stars, huh? God damn. Would it be an RPG without a uh, Skeleton Warrior? Honestly. I don't think so. I don't think so. Alright, we have another uh, place to blow stuff up. We are... I wouldn't say we're running low on throwing stars, but I mean, we're getting down there, dude. If this, uh... This dungeon's super long, which probably isn't, but... <laughs> What do we got? Let's see. Oh, I just noticed things are actually marked on the mini-maps in the uh, strategy guide. So this is Ninja Stars. Speak. And the game shall reward you with what you need. Huh. Only one of them here this time. Interesting. Man, unless you're speedrunning or something, dude, like, why not just clear everything out? I know it's repetitive, but... Set your shit to uh, message speed one and look how quick it goes. <clears throat> well, we're gonna be working our way over to the left. Looks like we have a couple more fl uh, floors to deal with here. It's fine. Bum, 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 bum. Clearing out these worms, though. Let's go. Man, I really miss stuff like these strategy guides. They're just so nice. There's, like, almost too much information, but, like, it's just cool, dude. Whether you're using it, you know, to actually play through the game or as a collector's piece. And honestly, I used to find myself a lot back in the day just reading strategy guides, like, in my spare time or if I'm fucking taking a dump or something. 
Good reading material. Oops. Almost went into that fight with the sword. Probably wouldn't have been that big of a deal, but... Let's use a cure. Alright, Bone Dungeon, Basement 2, nothing over here. Ooh, what do we got? What is this? Behemoth! Oh, a Gorgon! Damn, okay. I'm pretty sure that's just the uh, Behemoth reskin, but... Oh, wait, this is the Stone Dungeon, right? Or was it the Bone Dungeon? Bone dungeon. Okay, it would have made more sense if it was the stone dungeon because of, uh... Friggin', you know, gorgons and stuff like that that could turn you into stone. Basilisks. Whatnot. But then you have the case of the skeleton, so whatever. Okay. Missing something here? Maybe I could blow a segment off? Oh yeah, you can. Look at that. There we go. God damn! That's more than a segment. Holy shit. That's the whole goddamn thing. Ooh, three skellies. Gorgons as well. No Gorgon and a skeleton, huh? Oh shoot! Might have to heal Tristan. Hey, Razor leveled up. Good stuff. So I keep pressing X still, but at the very least I'm uh, working my way around it now, right? Just takes an extra click to get to where I need to be. More ninja stars, that's good. Was there anything over here? Like, can I walk through this? I can, okay. Uh, huh. Weird. So how does one... Hmm. How do you do this? Oh, you can come from the other side, I guess? Somehow? Unless I'm being crazy. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. There we go. I'm an idiot. It's fine. More ninja stars. Anything over here? Nope. Alright, cool. And let's leave here, and now we're gonna go up to the north. Take on the Gorgon. We're not skipping shit, baby. You're about to meet your doom, buddy. bomb here again. Ooh, what do we have here? Is this a new guy? Oh! Damn, dude. Minotaur zombie? Let's take out the uh, cronies first, I guess. Oh, fuck. He's confused. Is he not confused already? Oh, no. He's confused. My man's is confused. 
Blind. Alright. I mean... Pure... Life. Well, shit. Probably had to use that, you know what I mean? Oh, stairs. All right. Have another thing to blow up there. Another uh, Minotaur zombie. Probably uh, attack them first, right? Stars? We are definitely doing well on stars at this point. Okay, what do we got here? Seeds? Alright, what do the seeds do? The seed of a magical tree. Eat one and watch your magic points be restored. You'll be using plenty of spells, so make sure you find enough of these along the way. Cool. So they're basically ethers in this game. You like to see it. Oopsies. Nice, just one Minotaur zombie. So we can't forget, guys, we are on the search for the elixir. Well, sort of. We're on the search for treasure, which Tristam is going to give us the elixir, allegedly, if we find his fucking treasure. He better not fook us. Head first. Bone Dungeon Basement 2. Ooh, a Quake spell, huh? Uh. Okay, yep. Alright, cool. Yeah, so that, I guess that's like part of the whole, like, you know, it's it's an easier game or whatever, is like stuff just gets kind of auto equipped to you. You don't even have to think. <laughs> Popsicle stand. Oh shit, yo, that's cool looking, isn't it? Honestly. Wow, I like that. Uh, it looks like we might have to... Are there any, like, secrets here? No, I don't think so. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, can we save anywhere? I think we can, right? Yep. Cool. Another thing that makes it easier. <laughs> Alright, let's, um, take care of this dude. Let's try some Quake spells, maybe, right? Let's read what Quake does real quick. A spell that lets you attack a monster with a savage earthquake can only be used on entire groups of monsters, okay. So those that can recover their vitality won't be hurt too badly. Interesting. So I don't even know if that would work on the boss. Okay then. Uh, let's just fucking attack it, I guess. Brr, you'll never beat me. I have the power of the crystal of earth. Yeah, that's cool. Fla Flamorous Rex. Missed. Great. 
Okay. Goddamn, dude. Chill. Alright, let's do a... Nice. Good, good, good. Yeah, this is a little sketch, huh? Um... Hmm... I think I'm gonna battle yet again, and then I have to start healing. Holy shit, dude. That was a horrible turn. <laughs> that was a fucking terrible turn, dude. Okay, so this dude knows life, but that's all he knows. God fucking damn, dude. Alright, we're poisoned, which sucks, but I mean, it's also whatever, I guess. Alright, so Cure is like legit as fuck. Um, let's use the heal potion, and then we'll attack. Okay, it's fine. Uh, let's just go in. Actually,. Should we try the spell, dude? Let's try it. I don't know if it's gonna work. Ooh! It does work, okay. All right, well, that's good, all right? Let's heal ourselves. and... Okay, I see. Good thing you didn't fucking attack Razor. All right, let's start peppering him with the uh, quake. Stop missing, dude. Fucking fell asleep. So this actually sucks. Uh, good thing we're fucking him up, though. You see he's falling apart. It sucks because I don't have any more heal fucking potions. It's our last quake, so let's see. Oh, not good. He is on death's door, but so are we. Nah, chill. Thank you. And Tristam is awake, baby. So let's uh, hopefully get the final kill here, maybe. Sketchy. Oh, of course we missed. A fucking course we did. All right, let's heal Tristam and attack. Oh no, dude, is Tristam dead? He's dead, dude. That's no good. Oh, magic auto fucking heals you. Wow. All right. Yo, this dude is fucking dangerous as hell. He's on his fucking deathbed. What the fuck? Alright, that's actually good, I guess. Thank goodness. Yo, that actually wasn't that easy. <laughs> that was not that easy. Wow, good thing I've been grinding. Oh, what's going on? Did I just get the first crystal? Nice, dude. Yo, that fight was not easy. God damn. Look, the crystal. I mean, granted, it probably would have been a little bit easier had I known, you know. I was kind of led to believe that Quake was a uh, multi-enemy attack or whatever. You know, maybe it didn't even work on the boss, but obviously that was not the case. Never mind, get a load of this stuff. Whoa! A man's got a... Look. I'll keep this. Oh, here's what you wanted. Receive the elixir. Cure potions. More explosives. A sand coin. Let's see. Okay. What do we got here? I'm just gonna kind of keep doing this uh, as we go along. Give you guys some more insight, maybe. 
over a typical playthrough. The guide says, Elixir, the one medicinal concoction that could help Kaylee fight off the Minotaur poison. Made eons ago by Mountain Holy Men, this stuff is in short supply. Sand coin. Engraved with a knight's sword, this coin sparkles with a mysterious power. With this coin, you can open the similarly adorned door in the focus tower. Okay, so... Uh, the focus tower door that has a sword on it can be opened now with this coin. And just some background lore on the Flamosaur Flamorous Rex, excuse me. An evil fossil come to life. The Rex is draining the crystal of Earth and causing earthquakes and heartache. Watch out for its teeth and its sleep and poison dust attacks. Oh, did we mention the bone missile attack? Go get him! Alright, let's touch the uh, crystal of Earth here. Or maybe not. Okay, so it looks like um, the Crystal of Earth just appears, and that's it. So, I guess we probably head back to Kaylee now since we have the Elixir. I guess there's no quick way back, huh? Look, I gotta go. See you around, kid. Alright. Fuck you then. Oh, shit. I gotta get out of the whole dungeon without it. Oh, never mind. I cleared all the enemies. And this is why you do that. I wasn't sure if they were gonna respawn or not. Ding, 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 ding. I feel like uh, this game might be a fun speedrun game, actually. When I'm done uh, beating it, I'll definitely have to check up on that. Not that I would actually speedrun, because, <laughs> um. Ain't nobody got time for that, at least I don't. Speedruns take a lot of time and effort, man. They are not easy. Lots of grinding and memorization and notes and this, that, and the other. Okay, there are going to be enemies uh, right outside of here, so I do have to be careful. Can I see how much... Um... Okay, so 2,000. I'm curious. Oh wait, hold up. Where did I just go? I just want to see the experience gain. I wasn't really paying attention. Watch us just completely miss all the time now. One ninety-eight. So I mean, yeah, we could level up if we cleared everything out of here again. But is it really? Oh fuck, dude! I do have to. <laughs> I took since I left earlier to go uh, back to the town and now I don't have my boy with me um, we're gonna have to fight our way out uh, sucks I don't even have any uh, I don't have any heal potions anymore Ugh. come on RNG gods give me a break Oh my god. I need a fucking break here. At the very least, stop missing, right? Hmm. Hmm. I'll be hanging from the bathroom if I find out that I didn't have to backtrack out of here. Pretty sure I do, though. Just ninja stars, so I don't need those. I'm gonna have to uh, use a potion after this fight, though, for sure. Mm. 
Let's, uh, oops. Well, I guess I wanted to save anyway. Okay. Damn, it's a good thing that we don't get poisoned with every step, huh? We be fooked. Time to head back to Foresta. Okay. Oh, things look a lot different here. Am I wrong? Was the was it this green earlier? I don't think it was. Oh, obviously the uh, the bone dragon must have been fucking rotting the world or whatever, right? Similar to the uh, the lich in uh, right. It was the lich in the first Final Fantasy. I think so. Are these new people. Thank you for saving us in the trees. Yeah, okay, everything looks nice right now. Go save the crystals. Oh shit, that's right, all these people were old, remember? I want to hear Max stories again. Oh, that's cool. I find it a little weird that the uh, NPCs move at like 20 frames per second. <laughs> Look at the fuck. Look, I'm a little girl again. Yeah, let's talk to everybody. Hurry and give Keely the medicine. Uh, I will... I'm actually gonna wait. <laughs> I'm gonna be a dick. <clears throat> Talk to everybody else first. Okay, you don't have anything to say? Can you save all four crystals? Can you get the fuck out of the way so you can get that fucking chest, dude? Thank you. Let's rest. And everything's so vibrant now. You got anything new to say, buddy? Kaylee could talk to the tree spirits. Oh, I think that's different. I'm pretty sure before you told me to go grab the uh, the chest, right? Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. Let's go heal Kaylee. By the way, uh, I got a new 8-bit dough controller, uh, like basically the, the, the brand new model, if you will. It's sort of see-through dark gray black. It's fucking awesome, man. It is the perfect combination of the first two waves of controllers that I got. The first one controlled well but felt cheap. The second wave felt well but controlled horribly. This is a mixture of all the good qualities. I'm super happy with it and I'm glad that I bought it. Razor, is it really you? Here's the elixir. Thank you, now I can visit Spencer in Aquaria. Why don't I go look, or excuse me, why don't I go to Aquaria first and look around, where is it? It's through the focus tower into the northeast. Ah, okay, take care. So that means uh, that I probably used the sand coin to get through that particular area of the focus tower. That would make sense. So let's see what's in our way. And what's here? Is this the entrance to the focus tower? Yes, it is. All right, let's actually clear out this battlefield. Might be a little difficult, actually. With just me? Yeah, dude. This might be a little tough, huh? Especially if I get fucking confused. Oh, I just cast Quake. <laughs> it actually worked out. Actually worked out. Yo, am I still confused? No, okay. You know what I should probably do? Burn through Quake, right? And then just go back and rest when I'm done. Stop, dude. Quit being whack. Oh, I didn't actually mean to use Quake there. So, one of my minor gripes so far is the fact that you get stuck on your previous dialogue, if that makes sense. So because I casted Quake, my thing stayed on spell the whole time. Kind of annoying. Yo, these enemies suck. I keep getting confused. I can't do anything. 
There we go. Nothing I could do! Whatever you say. Uh, hopefully you guys get my DSP references, otherwise you just think I'm an idiot. I mean, I am an idiot, but, you know. You know what I'm saying. Like there, I should have cast Quake, right? Dude, I'm getting fucked up over here. This is no good. <laughs> oh, this is no good, man. Oh my god, dude, am I gonna die? Yeah, I might die. Okay, I'm no longer paralyzed, and I'm just fucking confused. Oh my god. I got fucking confused, and I attacked myself with Quake. So what happens? You just get sent back? Dude, talk about fucking ass cheeks, man. That sucks. Yo, these Minotaurs are nothing to fuck with right now, man. Holy hell. Oh my god, I keep missing. Thank you. Alright, well, we definitely gotta start... Let me check back at town real quick. I don't know, did my ma my magic replenish, right? It did. Alright, so you know what? It actually is very easy to die in this game. Uh, instant- well, I mean... That's classic fucking Final Fantasy for you, right? Even Mystic Quest. Is... If you get status afflicted... Everything that you have is thrown out the window, dude. If you're fucking confused, I got paralyzed and then confused and that did me in. I attacked myself with fucking Quake. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, how much gold do I have? 549. And are we replenished? We are. Okay. Let's go work on clearing that shit out. And I guess while we're here, might as well, right? Oops. Yeah, that is a, uh, that's a game changer, especially when you only have one character, right? Riding solo. And actually, I just, just looked at the strategy guide. Battlefield 3. Look for Minotaur zombies, sandworms, and basilisks to greet you in this battlefield. Since you're all alone now, this is gonna be tough. But, if you can hang in there for 10 rounds, you'll receive 150 gold pieces, or come back when you have an ally. Well, you know what? Fucking doing it myself, man. Let's go. Let's quake their ass. Don't give me Minotaur zombies and we're all good. Fuck. <laughs> well, let's get a quake off first, right? This motherfucker. Stop it. Don't miss. Hit. Oh my god. Now we're paralyzed. Oh god, here, go here we go, guys. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> no! Dude, stop missing! Come on, man. Not on me, not on me! Oh, thank goodness. Oh my god. That would've been fucking horrible. Um... Right, I'm running out of quakes, unfortunately. Alright. I guess we'll just... regular attack. I don't want to waste a quake if it doesn't kill him in one hit, you know? Oh my god, I cast quake. Woo! <laughs> Dude, that is rough, man. If you get confused right away, dude, and you end up casting Quake, if you cast it on yourself, you're dead. You're fucking dead. Ooh, a one-hit Quake. Let's go. Um, let's save. Let's just try it without Quake. Let's see what we get. Uh, not good RNG, but... 
I mean, I could use the fucking nuts or whatever, right? See, that sucks. We actually had the first jump, and I could have uh, gotten the kill if I didn't miss right away. Seems like the accuracy is pretty rough at times in this game. But, nevertheless, one more to go. Get this shit done, baby. Clean them out. Alright, we won our GP, so let's go back to town. Um, I guess we'll loot a couple cures while we're there, right? And we'll rest in the bed, and we'll head off to the focus tower. Save it up. Oop. Smash. Smash. Grab. And over to the right. Grab. And let's head over to our our famous bed in Foresta. <laughs> Get all healed. Uh, I leveled up. Does that mean I have six uses now of... Still five for black magic, unfortunately. We did gain an extra slot for white. Um, oh well. Alright, let's head to the precipice of... Tower. And let's grab a save. Bam. Focus tower time, baby. Make sure we're not missing stuff, you know? <clears throat> Alright, cool. So it looks like you could slip through. What the fuck is this thing? Oh, it's that dude. I thought it was an enemy. Well done, Razor. Remember, Captain Mac will be crucial to your quest. A girl named Phoebe could help you. But I'm going to Aquaria. Maybe you'll find her along the way. Alright. Oops. Oh, there's the, uh... Got more explosives. There's where we should probably use the, um, thing that we got yesterday. Well, earlier in the playthrough, excuse me. Breaking the fourth wall there. Sand coin. Um... However... I don't think that I want to do this yet. I want to explore a little bit, if possible. Let's see what else is in here. Dead end. <clears throat> Looks like a stairway over there and a bunch of uh, cave doors. Oh, oh, that's okay. I guess that's a focus tower exit then, huh? Interesting. Um, can I sneak through somewhere? Hmm. Oh, Jesus! That was the exit. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I realized this was the shortcut, right? And then I went the long way around. Hmm. Okay. Well. I'm just gonna go forward. For now. Grab some more explosives, I guess. It opened. Whee! Hmm. Anything over here? Not looking like it. Alright. Ooh, we got a chest over there, baby. Ooh, fire spell, nice. Cool. I like it. Uh, where did I come from? Was it the door or the stairs? It was obviously the, uh... <clears throat> the other one. Alright, cool. What is next? Another battlefield, huh? 
Hmm. Let's see. Oh shit. Mint Mint. Ooh, the one thing I gotta be careful of is we are not uh, super close to Foresta anymore for our free, you know, rest and whatnot. Although I'm pretty sure what, we're going to Aquaria. I'm guessing there's probably an inn or something there. Should we try it? Eh, I don't know. Yeah, fire only uh, focuses on one. Quake is both, so. Nice. Let's clear this shit. If it's one, we'll attack. If it's two, we'll do a uh, quake. Oh damn, Razor's like starting to uh, not miss anymore, huh? I love how the hats fall off, it's funny as hell. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna start running out of quakes soon. Although, I, I do have that one item, right? Uh, the seed. I think it replenishes... ...usage. Let's just rip through it, baby. How many do we have left now? Oh, come on now. How is it? Let's be real here for a second, guys. How is Razor not expecting this attack when he's literally in the battlefield? Okay? Essentially set up to be fucking... A gauntlet. Anyway. Alright, this is our last quake. Tempted to pop a seed. I don't know how close we are. How close are we to Aquaria? Ooh, it's not looking like we're close at all, so... Interesting. Hmm. Oops. All right, let's, uh, let's use one of those seeds. Pop a save real quick. Finish this battlefield off, shall we? By the way, the night of this recording is actually <clears throat> Thanksgiving night, uh, 2021. So hopefully for those of you that celebrate, or at least do something, hopefully you had a good day. Had a pretty nice, uh, good relaxing day with my family, so I enjoyed it. And then what a better way to end your night than play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, you know what I'm saying? Alright, the Libra Temple. Hi! It's hopeless. I give up. Aquaria is frozen. People are sick. Grandpa is trapped. Wait, have you ever heard of a man named Spencer? Why, he's my grandpa. What luck! Let's go free him! But we can't. I'm going home. Hey, what's your name? Where are you from? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Phoebe from Aquaria. You are Phoebe? Then I'm going with you. Phoebe joined. Looks like she has a claw? Cat claw? Again, our fucking companions are beefy as shit. Holy hell. Alright, so we have some kind of warp here? Uh... What, what is it exactly? Hmm. Alright, let's consult the guide real quick. <clears throat> First off, Phoebe, the granddaughter of Spencer, master archer, and expert with claw-type weapons. She can cast cure, heal, life, fire, and thunder spells. It makes great chicken soup, too. The fuck? It's funny. Uh, Libra Warpoint. Okay, so at this point, nothing happens if you step on it. But at some point, it will be important. Uh, it looks like I need to have the Libra Crest in order to actually utilize it. So anyways, 
A uh, quick look ahead, it seems like there's a couple battlefields coming up, and then there's also Aquaria. So, interesting. Let's see. Looks like we can only go to this one. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Um... And that brings me to Aquaria, right? Perfect. Let's clear these fucking things out. And Quake's gonna be our friend, right? She knows fire. Let's see how these enemies are. I haven't really encountered the scorpions yet. Okay, so Quake doesn't kill them, and they also poison. So that sort of sucks. Oh shit, I didn't want to use- oh man. I used Earthquake by accident. Again guys, I don't like that. I don't like that the game defaults to your last move. Not a huge fan. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna use it here, but I did not want to use it that other time, so. He'd be strong as hell, man. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna keep casting Quake. Um, Until we run out, I don't want to use a seed though. So this is this our last use here? Oh, we don't have any uses now. Okay. Well, shit. The miss though. Oh, the double, dude. He's fucking on his back, keeled over, and we're missing. Come on now. Alright, I think it might be time to uh, pop into Aquaria real quick. Oh boy, here we go. Casting that fire though. I see you, Phoebe. Alright, let's let's pop into Aquaria. Then we can clear out those uh Okay. I'm liking the uh, the cut of this town's jib. Looks like we have a, a little bit of stuff to do here. Ooh, there's an inn up ahead. Oh boy. All right, so let's actually... How about some explosives? Uh... Sure? Anyway. Take a nice rest for 95 GP. Refreshment guaranteed. No thanks. All the healing herbs are frozen, so I can't make my cure potion. Okay, I see you. Oh, there's like a... A grandma or something sitting here. Brr, the ice doesn't melt even when heated. What if I try to sneak a rest? No. Alright, let's actually just rest here. Cool. And what are we working with? GP-wise, 7-Eleven. So it's actually not very cheap. Um, in saying that, I want to clear these battlefields. So let's... Get back to that. We should be leveling up soon, I assume. Oh, it didn't kill them? Are you kidding, dude? See what we got. Oh yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, <clears throat> I don't think I was really encountering those much before. I think it was uh, mostly this trio right here. Uh, what do we get from this? Looks like we get the magic ring from this one. The other battlefield doesn't really yield much other than experience, but I still want to do it. Um. Doo -doo -doo -doo. My bad. Oh yeah, I'm still- OH! No, I don't want to do that. 
I still always crack up when you get attacked, like a fucking scorpion or whatever attacks you with a rapier. You know what I mean? That's some funny stuff. I just realized I did level up, but since I have the <laughs> level up dialogue set, or uh, the text dialogue set to being so fast, I probably missed it. And that's fine. I don't know why Quake was so weak before. Huh. Don't poison me, bro. Alright, last one. Let's use our last quake. Hopefully we get a good quake. Oh. Alright. One of the magic ring. So let's take a look. There she blows. Defense power three, so... Magic Ring. Having the powerful magic of the ancient wizards, this ring radiates a curious aura of power. The ring protects the wearer from any silence spells, and instantly increases defense and evade status levels. Well, that's pretty good, I guess. Hmm. And it looks like the, uh, the other battlefield, uh, the reward is GP. Which, uh, eh, decent, I guess, right? <clears throat> so while we're here... Your boy loves to grind. What are we working with? Uh, damn, dude. So that does not yield very much. Uh, hmm. Not a lot of GP from the battlefields, huh? I fought like seven fights there or something, and I only I didn't even get 95 back. It's a little rough. I mean, the experience yields great, but all right, we'll see what we're working with. Got these fellas. Let's try some regular attacks, see what's up. Maybe I'll switch to bombs. I mean, I have 90 of them now, and... They do sell them there. At Aquaria. Let's see. Oh, the bomb is a... AoE attack. How much? Yo, the bomb, though, people. Wow, I was sleeping on it. Okay. I see you. We got a new strat, people. New strat. Okay, so it looks like uh, when the enemies die... Which, I mean, it happens in a lot of RPGs. If you use a uh, multi-attack, like the bomb, it looks like it does more damage when it's focused on just one person. Yep. Indeed it does. <laughs> yeah, with stuff like this, it's like, uh, you know, all the memes and jokes about you hold down the A button or whatever. Well. Not my fault. I want to clear these fucking battlefields, baby. No battlefield will be left unturned. <clears throat> but, as soon as we're done with this, uh, we're gonna get a... I don't even know, do I even really need a... I don't need a rest at the end, actually. I'll just fucking heal myself manually. Uh, but we'll explore Aquaria. A little bit further. part is, is we haven't even used 10 bombs yet, which we just purchased, so... Basically, like, barely used anything. You'd love to see it. Final two, let's go. Yeah, we will say this, uh... Battlefield 5 here is definitely a lot easier than 6 was. <clears throat> Not that 6 was difficult. But, 
required a little bit more thinking at the time. I mean, if I knew about the bombs, I probably would have used them the whole time, but... Water under the bridge. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna get uh, 300 GP here, which is good. Because we did rest at the inn a few times recently. And Aquaria is not as nice as uh, Foresta, where you could just walk in and rest for free, you know? Alright, we got our GP. Now let's actually explore the town here. Um, don't need to buy anything there. Definitely looks like we're going to be, uh... Unfreezing this place at some point. The cold air made Grandma sick. Well, that looks to be a waterfall or something. That ain't working right now, I'll say that much. Okay. So, a lot of people don't like snow levels and shit like that. I love them, man. I think they're great. I don't care what people say. So, Phoebe, where's Spencer trapped? In the tunnel he was digging under here. The dirt is frozen solid, so he can't get out. Can't we melt it? Not until we get a wake water from the Spring of Life, but a monster in the wintry cave stole the Libra Crest, which warps us from the Libra Temple to the Life Temple. Anyway, first we have to get that whatchamacallit crest back, right? Right, to the wintry cave. Alright, this must be your house, right? Oh, hey, heal potions. You love to see it. Oh my god, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Better, uh, get off of that just in case, right? The monster in the ice pyramid makes itself invisible. Yip, yip, yip. Can you fucking move, dude? Oh my god. How do I get around here? Oh my fucking Jesus. Oh, never mind, I could jump over him. Oh, I keep forgetting that. Well, dead end anyway, but... Yeah, I'm so used to other RPGs, man, where you gotta, like, wait or push them out of the way or something. But it doesn't look like I could do anything yet, because everything else appears to be frozen. Um... I'll just chop these down just to see. I'm sure there's absolutely nothing here. Yep, doesn't look like you can do jack shit. <sighs> Alright then, well. I guess that's about all we could do here. Let's buy some more bombs, just in case. We probably don't need them, but... It is... Oh, it's... Wait, it's one bomb for ten? Am I reading that right? There we go. Okay, I see. Cool. Um, but yeah, it's looking like we can't... Do... Wait a second. Am I blind? Oh my god, how did I miss that? Wow. I'll tell you right now, it's a late night. <laughs> a monster in the ice pyramid up north is draining the power of the crystal of water. Okay. You got anything in this field over here? No, but at least it was fun, I guess. I have no idea how I missed that bridge, dude. How about buying my steel helmet for 200 GP? Well, I think I will! Bought the steel helmet. I hope you're happy with the steel helm. Steel helm.
All right, cool. I like how there's crystal balls everywhere. There's a magic mirror which reflects images of the monsters. Refreshers? Oh, uh, what the fuck are those? A powerful stamina providing herbal brew, usable only during battle. When a monster has decreased your attack or defense rating, restore it with a sip. Okay, so if we get debuffed in the middle of the battle, we could use the refresher. Good to know. And this looks like it's another warp tile. I think they're all uh, revolving around the, um, you know, the astrological signs or whatever. Yo, can I jump over this thing? Look at that. Sick jump, bruh. Alright, let's, um... I want to save some of my gold. Um... Pure heal. There we go. Well, I think we've exhausted our options here in Aquaria for now. So, we are... going to be, uh... on the move. We have another battlefield. Um... In the wintry cave. So let's pop a save. Let's uh, clear out this battlefield, man. Ooh, edge hogs, edge lords. Okay. Let's do some AOE shit. Oh, I bet you fire probably fucks up most enemies in this area, right? These guys are ain't nothing to fuck with. Holy moly. Okay then. Yeah, the edgehogs can uh, politely go away if they would like. No, thank you. Well, that certainly didn't do much damage. And now we're poisoned. Good. Not an easy fight here, huh? Hmm, really earning it with this one. This might be a uh, stop at the end trip. I might be popping out my earthquake. Um, let's see. Heal. Cure. Cure. Back we go! Oh shit, edge hogs though. Alright, let's use Quake. And. Oh, so we can do this like in other Final Fantasies. Cool. Didn't know that. Yep. I figured they were weak to fire here, so that's good to know. Um, nice. That'll make things a lot easier. Fire. And fire. Burn, baby. You love to see it. So yeah, it kind of looks like that there's like a... Almost a shtick. With each and every battlefield. It just takes a little while to kind of think it over. Um, I wasn't sure if you were able to do the old tap up on the control pad to uh, expand fire from a singular attack to a wide variety attack. Um, I would say typically that's RPG standard, but I do play RPGs here and there that don't do that type of stuff. Um, I'm constantly playing games, guys. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to call people out or anything, but I've had a few comments here and there on a couple videos. Um, basically like, oh, how come you don't remember this or remember that? It's like, dude, I play a shit ton of games, and I don't have the best memory to begin with when it comes to this stuff. When I'm done with this, I bet you I'll forget half of what happened in the game. 100%. That's just how I am. <clears throat> I was, uh, really good in school, right? But I was, like, one of those dudes that would, like, I'd be able to really retain the knowledge uh, before a test or an exam or whatever. 
and then I would totally just fucking not remember it later on. So I'm like really good at retaining memory in the short term, but if I don't find it to be incredibly important, like for example when it comes to video games, one of the only games that I maintained really good knowledge about is the first Dark Souls. I mentioned this before in another video. I know that game inside and out. I know where almost every item is. I know my way around the map completely without warps. I know what connects to where, blah, 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 blah. I used a lot of my video game memory bank to, uh, <laughs> to learn all that shit, so. <clears throat> Ain't got no time, no space for some other stuff. That being said, we just cleared out Battlefield 7. So it is time to officially move on to the Wintery Cave. And it looks like the other battlefield probably opens up after this. Let's save. See what we got. And you know how I am, guys. I will, uh... Always be clearing these things out. Good news, bad news? Uh, the good news is... Is Phoebe knows a lot of fire spells. Uh, the bad news is... We have limited spells now. We're not going to be going back to the inn. Very often. So... Kind of how it's going to be. Let's see. But we'll start... I mean, we do have a couple of... Uh, seeds left. I mean, we can make our life really easy just by casting fire the whole way through here, probably. See, for a e double edge hog battle, I'm probably not going to. Not too bad. More explosives? I mean, that's always good, right? Can you jump over the random encounters? I guess that'd be something, uh... Worthy of inspecting. One thing I will say is I'm definitely really happy that I'm finally playing this game. Well, obviously it's not the best RPG by any means, it's just one that, I don't know, like I said, I bought it in high school, man, so it's just always been something... Something about it. Been wanting to get to it for a long time, and... Kinda always just found excuses to not get to it, I guess. Eat shit. Let's go, baby. Can I get over there? Oh, is that a passageway? Hold up. Wait a second. Oh, maybe I could walk down in there or something? Looks like a passageway, right? Like, little steps or something? Wasn't sure if maybe I could cut or blow these things up, but it doesn't look like I can, which is fine. Oh, a chest up there. Yeah, I don't think you could jump over the encounters. That's fine. So I don't remember if I mentioned it yet or not, but uh, I'm actually dipping my toes into some modern JRPGs. Um, I haven't really done so much at all. Beyond, you know, from software games, like maybe you consider... I mean, I guess, I mean, it's a Japanese studio. I would say, though, that, like, Dark Souls and Bloodborne and shit like that, they're... Oh! The fuck? The claw saved me. Here's how to use it. Select the claw and press down the A button. Press the control pad. Now it's yours. Receive the cackle. Okay. Oh, it's mine. I see, I see. Oh, so Phoebe has something different now. Interesting. Oh, cool. Heal potions. Well, that's actually a pretty uh, cool mechanic, I guess. I don't know. 
I like that mechanic. But anyways. You know, you can consider Dark Souls and Bloodborne and Sekiro, I guess, to be JRPGs, but I'd say they're they're slightly uh, Western influenced. So I'm talking about, in particular, I'm playing through Tales of Arise right now. Uh, I got the PC version because, unfortunately, I don't have a PS5, um, and I am a performance whore. Basically, uh, if the game doesn't run perfectly, and I heard that it could chug a little bit towards the end, at least on PS4, I was out. Um, can I, like, jump over here? Hmm. How do I get back up there? But anyways, I'm actually really enjoying it. Uh, the combat is very addicting. Um, graphics are great, it's very smooth. At times, it, it, I could definitely notice that it's a little bit repetitive. There's maybe a little bit too much dialogue for my liking, but... I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed by it so far. I'm about like six or seven hours in. That's like my, uh, my game that I'm playing on the side when I don't feel like recording. Oh fuck, we're confused. But uh, I think I'm going to keep up a little bit with some more modern stuff. You know, I, I definitely want to try out like Nier Automata. Um, There's a couple of other games that have my have caught my eye that it came out in the last like 10 to 15 years. Uh, Eternal Sonata came out on Xbox 360, but I guess the PS3 version's better, um, from what I understand at least. I definitely want to try that one out. Sounds like it has a really uh, kind of sad and almost I guess deep story. As far as what I do with those. Um, if I play a more modern game in the past, I would typically do a one-minute review. That would be, like, my shtick for it. Um, I don't really know if I feel like doing those as much anymore. I might just do, like, a written review or something on my website. Which, by the way, I do have a website. www.bitsandglory.com uh, I don't post there frequently as far as, like, you know, articles and shit like that. But I, I do eventually, like, kind of reshare, dump all my YouTube videos there. Um, I actually did a Fantasy Star playthrough offline where I was <laughs> basically doing journal entries. It was actually a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing it. So, you can go there and read through that if you wish. But yeah. As much as I love, you know, the old school shit, RPGs from the 8-bit to the, you know, PS1 era, um, I'm gonna start giving a little bit more love to the PS2, PS3, and beyond. Definitely want to try uh, Shin Megami Tensei soon. But for now, we're focusing on Mystic Quest, baby. Cure potions. Don't mind if I do. I should probably, uh... There we go. So we could blow this fucking thing up, but I wanted to go explore down here first. Is that how I do it? Mm -hmm. I do like the little mechanics that the game is doing, like the, the cat claw and blowing stuff up. <clears throat> I mean, it's nothing like revolutionary by any means, but it gives me some enjoyment. Attack. I'm the old Edgehog. Sonic the Edgehog, if you will. some uh, cures
<clears throat> ah, we keep missing a lot. Hmm. Oh, worst case scenario. Oh, awful scenario. This could be bad, guys. We could be wiped the fuck out. Should I run? Oh, there we go. That's no good. <laughs> Let's maybe do a... Uh... It's actually catching a fire here. Fuck me, dude. Double confusion on raise, that's fine. As long as we don't end up quaking ourselves. Oh boy. Yeah, that's deadly stuff, man. The game goes from like, uh, I wouldn't say mind-numbingly easy, in a way it is, but... Hey, more refreshers, good stuff. But it can go from 0 to 100 real quick when you get status afflicted, man. No bueno. I guess I should try out my Cat Claw in battle, right? That would have been the perfect uh, fight to do that. Okay. Walking down here. So we had a door yeah, over by that one treasure chest from earlier. Let's try the cat claw. See what's up. Yeah. Hey, Razy leveled up. Nice. All right, dead end. Definitely got something over here. All right, this might be a, another fire spell. <sighs> Say good night. All right, we got something here, people. We also have Edgehogs. Um, I think I'll have Razor use fire, and then Phoebe could just attack. Should be able to kill them. Yep. Alright, let's blow this shit up. Whoa! Got a whole lot going in here. The fuck? You know me, I'm gonna clear everything out. Ooh, what do we got here? Land turtles. Yo, the, the turtles in the fucking early, uh, what was it? Final Fantasy 2? They were, some of them were tough, man. Some of them were tough, tough, tough. <sighs> Ain't no thing for Phoebe, though. She's a G. Cure potions. More arrows. Cool. Ooh, ow. Something just, like, snagged me. <clears throat> 715, dude. Wow. Nuts. Yo, we got quaked. That's no good. Oh, double quaked. Okay. Looks like we're healing up to this fight. Oh, the miss. Shit, dude, we might die. Oh, if we get quaked. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um... Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Constant missing here, though. Well, we're gonna attack with Razor, and then I guess try to cure ourselves here. Cool. 
All right, we're good. We're good. Damn, tough fight. That's a toughie. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. I guess I kind of needed to be cured. <laughs> it just sucks because now they get two attacks in where they. Oh, I got critted. Shit, me, dude. Well, I don't think you're gonna crit me again, asshole. Probably gonna save before the uh, the next random encounter, just because. Um, Yeah, I don't know, I don't... I don't trust with the confusion, you know? All it takes is you quaking yourself once and... the battlefield tides, so to speak, have changed. Go all out here. I think maybe it's a good idea. Yeah. Let's actually do it with her. I know she's running low, but fuck. That did not do enough. Oh man. Alright, this is uh, another tough one here, people. I'm gonna do that. It's a bit of a waste, but I also want to get the hell out of this fight. Okay. Don't crit me. Don't crit me, thank you. We got another Tuffy coming up here. Maybe I'll try Quake? Let's see. Um, yeah, we're kind of out of that, unfortunately. Does it do any more than fire? Okay, so it does hurt them more than fire, but it still doesn't kill them. I hate getting confused, dude. Oh my god, that hurt a lot. Well, at least Quake did enough damage there. Damn, dude. There's fucking a shit ton of enemies here. We're blind, huh? Oh, you can't jump over those? Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Alright. Oh, we got blinded again? God damn. Gotta imagine uh, that we're gonna level up again soon. I'm tempted to skip those other encounters, I'm not gonna lie. The centaurs. We'll see. 
fuck. This is no good either. Oh my god. This is no good. Oh shit, I d dude. Oh, we might die. We might die. Oh my god, we're gonna live. Don't miss. Oh my god, we missed. Got me fucking frightened. Alright, what do we got? Arrows and heal potions. So I guess, I mean, that's good, right? Could be better. Alright, we're going in. Oof. Terrible. I think I have to save some magic, man. Fuck me. Mm. Try to focus our attacks here. Shit. And here we go. Here we go, people. The double confusion. We snapped out of it somehow. It could have been worse. Could have been worse. Definitely focus our attacks on these assholes. We're striking first, so we should be able to kill them. Nice. That's what we like to see, people. That is what we like to see. Looks like this is actually a pretty good strategy at this point. The bombs were really working, but I mean, like, now I'm almost one- if I hit, you know, I am missing quite a bit, but if I do hit, it seems like I'm one-shotting everything with my claws, so... Can't complain. So there was another passageway. Uh, we went the long way in the main area. Unfortunately, we might have to backtrack all the way to see what the hell's there, but obviously we're going to continue on. So where are we now? Oh shit, my vision is obscured. Okay. So there's stairs. What are these? Okay, we got Sparnas. Hmm. Well, as long as we don't get confused, I mean, it's a little bit more manual. Yo, the fucking arrow rips these things apart. God damn. Ripping them. Oh shit, land turtles. Um, yeah, let's just focus on our attacks. Of course we miss. Keep clearing everything out. So let me think here. If we're striking first, I might want to do bombs. And then one regular attack. Now the bomb should do more damage. I don't know if it really matters. There we go. Nice. Hey, Razy leveled up again. Good shit. Hey, let's see what the bombs do on these guys. I didn't even really try. I wonder if it counts as like an anti-aerial or not. Mm. Eh, not really. Mm. 
thing out of bombs is probably a uh, chill with that. Same goes for the arrows, because I don't know, you know, what kind of HP the uh, boss of this area possesses. So, uh, let's stick with this. This seemed to be a uh, decent strat. You're pretty much guaranteeing at least one kill per turn, at least, you know. Oh, I'm defensing. Fuck me. Uh, again, guys, I got fucked again. I really, really don't like that that it maintains what you did last turn. The fight would have been over already. Ooh, Phoebe's gotta get healed. Oops. Alright. <clears throat> Shit. Hey, strike first. You love to see it. Fuck this dude. Kind of hoping we find some more arrows. Not gonna front. Alright, three of these dudes. Hey, we got strike first again. That's always good. Son of a bitch. Alright, clear it out. Looks like that's a... Oh, I thought that was a passway. Can we get in here? Oh, we can? Okay. Hmm. Okay, so you know what, guys? That looks to be the boss. So I'm actually gonna backtrack, but first I'm gonna kill these guys. Save. We're gonna take these guys out. Oh, strike first. You'll love to see it. Except when that happens. Okay, just don't miss, Razy. Thank you, buddy. Arrows? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, what do we do here? Let's see if we can get a, uh... Good quake off, maybe? Ah. No good, people. No good. <sighs> Phoebe wastes her fire spell. <sighs> Shit. Alright, well. What's the positive? The positive is we cleared it out. The negative is that's clearly a boss. Um, we have only one black spell left, which means we're probably going to have to use seed. But let's backtrack a little bit. Where was the exit? Over here? I want to backtrack because there was another passway that I did not go to. up here. Oops. There we go. We got here more enemies. Oopsies, nope. Mm. Mm. 
Man, the arrow does so much damage. I'm actually almost inclined to use my seed on Razor, even though I think Phoebe has more black magic uh, usage. You know? Oh, my nemesis here. Back you, dude. Back you. Oh, my God. Hey, we got a crit. Nice. Oh! Now we're blinded. This is no good. Okay. Man, the confusion enemies in this game, though, dude. Fucking bananas. that experience though he wants it Black magic, I do. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna use it on Razor. I think it might be more beneficial for Phoebe to uh, shoot the arrows at this boss coming up. Oops. We got arrows. Wait, how do I get to the other side? What? Huh. <clears throat> hmm. I am intrigued. How do I get there? see that is a I didn't realize that was like a pathway that you could walk on top of interesting just realize Phoebe's not doing well so I gotta be careful and then we'll probably use some heal spells. <sighs> nice miss, thank you. Thank you, Phoebes. Oh, here we go. Oh boy. Let's go ahead and not miss. Thank you. Excuse me. Boop. Take on this dude. Strike first. Let's go. the last uh, random, well not random, but last enemy encounter in this particular area. And then we're gonna move on to the boss. <clears throat> uh. 
Cure potions. Was that really worth it? Probably not, but... You know what? I wanted to go clear... I'm gonna clear every fucking dungeon, every battlefield, and if you don't like it, then I do apologize. But that's just what I'm gonna do. Alright, let's go back to this boss. Boop. I do like the ability to uh, let go of the climb button. Uh, in order to maneuver a little bit faster. to make sure that we heal, use a seed, and save before the boss, just in case. <clears throat> okay. So first, let's use cure and cure, and then we'll use a seed on razor. Just verify. Okay, we have that. We still have a bunch of white spells. Wait, what is this wizard spell? Thunder? Oh shit, I didn't even notice that. Wow. Again, I'm blind as fuck. But yeah, definitely uh, reaffirms the uh, seed usage for Razor. So let's see. Oh damn, dude. Sparnas and Squidite. So let's read the, uh, the Squidite overview here. A huge, rubbery, and powerful foe just itching for a fight. Once a resident of the deep ocean, this beast took to the land to find the kind of food that would allow it to grow to its present size. With its oversized suckers, it could draw energy from you and then turn around and shock you like an electric chair. Damn, so it could heal itself, I'm guessing. And it knows... If it could shock me, then the electric's probably not good against it. Which would kind of... Well, actually, but if it's from the ocean... Well... Let's go ahead and try our hand at fire first, and then let's actually just see what happens when we use our wizard spell here. Okay, it does like jack shit on the squid. Alright, so the squid is like not affected by uh, any of that stuff. Let's try quake, and then let's focus on attacking. Okay, so magic does, like, nothing against him. Pretty obvious. Let's try the claw. Alright, that seems to be the way to go here. Hopefully we don't get randomly fucking, like, critted. Oh, dude, he's, like, almost dead. He's, like, halfway dead already. Man, that first boss was a lot tougher. Oh, we missed! Alright, let's cure ourselves, and then attack with the arrow still. Alright. GG's, Squidite. GG's. Oh, that was actually really easy. <clears throat> that must be the Libra Crest. Let's take it and go to the Libra Temple. There's a mark there that looks like the design on the crest. Stand on it will be warped to the Life Temple. Okay, cool. Nice. So we have to fucking backtrack, though? Yeah, I think we do. The Libra Crest. This ancient Libra Crest is literally thrumming with mysterious power. Take it to the Libra Temple and stand on the spot on the floor. It looks like the design on the crest. Bingo, you're warping. And they had the typo of Yor in this guide. But you're not a world traveler now. You can only warp to the one location accessed by the crest. Okay. So yeah, unfortunately the backtracking. Unless I'm missing something, guys, which uh, I would say pointed out in the comments, but it really doesn't fucking matter because by the time you see this, <laughs> I've already beaten the game, so. <clears throat> but to my knowledge, I don't have anything right now that allows me to escape from any dungeons. Oh, I don't know what the fuck. Like, the game sort of stalled there for a second. It was weird. Boop.
Boop. Wait, is this the right way out? Hmm. Uh, I don't think it was. Or was it? Actually... Yeah, I think it was, right? Yeah. Perfect. Alright, so we have access to a new battlefield. Um, but I think I'm first going to stop back here in Aquaria. Probably buy some more bombs, right? How many bombs do I have? 71? That's, uh... Good enough. And we'll stay. We are all healed up and ready to rock. Wish I had some more seeds. I guess I could always, like... Was, I got them in a chest somewhere. I don't remember if it was a dungeon or a town or what. I think I did, at least. Maybe I got them as a reward for beating one of the, um, one of the battlefields. I'm not quite sure, but before we head back to the Libra Temple, I would like to clear this particular battlefield, so I will save it and see what it has to offer. Oh, <laughs> creature from the Black Lagoon type people here. Desert Hags, huh? Let's see what the, the fire does. I mean, enough to kill them, right? I think we're gonna, uh... Oh, no! I didn't want to fucking cast fire. God damn it. I was gonna say, since there's only two, we could just attack them, but... There we go again with Final Fantasy Mystic Quest doing its thing. There we are. I'll take these, uh, one encounters all day, baby. We are actually running out of fucking thingamajigs, I just realized. So, since we're probably gonna rest at the inn, we should probably start spamming fire. I don't know how much longer Phoebe's with me, I don't know how I could obtain arrows, you know what I mean? So, gotta be a little bit careful here. Because if we have to do another dungeon with her, and I waste some more arrows doing this shit, you never know. So let's just fucking go all in. One more to go. This we will not. Probably should have just defended. Oh well. Okay, back to the fire. Damn, I just realized Phoebe hasn't leveled up. Do your companions not level up in this game? Like, Razor leveled up like three or four times or some shit. <laughs> Phoebe, on the other hand, big nope. Let's try the Thunder Spell, I'm just curious. Okay. That's decent. Two more to go, baby. Alright, let's battle, and then... Eh, whatever. We're resting at the end. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm like, uh... Overanalyzing these battles for some reason. Literally, we have one left. So who cares? <laughs> Let's, uh... Fucking do fire, and then... Sure. Oh, cool. We got 600 GP from that, uh... Battlefield along with the experience that we got from the 10 fights, so you know what? That makes resting at the inn a lot easier. 
Oops. Replenish our magic. Good stuff. Alright, off to the Libra Temple. Looks like the next place we're going to is probably the place north of uh, Aquaria. Wait a minute. There's the Libra Temple. Well, since we have the Libra thing, we should be able to warp. Oh, wait. Let's. Of course, we'll loot. Get some arrows. Boop. And we are now in the Life Temple. That must be the Spring of Life. The water's dried up. It's hopeless now. Don't give up yet. There's someone inside. Let's have a look. Yo, low key, this song's fucking fire too, man. God damn, this fucking game has a great soundtrack. I can't front. It's one of the best. Okay, so it looks like we are isolated? Yeah, we can't move anywhere. Okay. Good to know. I'm guessing you might be able to come back here later, though. Hey, it's our boy. Aquaria is in great danger. I know that. We need wake water to melt the ice. But the wake water is dried up. It's hopeless. Hear me. All that's left of the wake water is in this bag. Take it and go back to Aquaria. Oh, cool. I like it. Cure potions. So let's read. I'm going to try to make a habit of this just to give you guys, again, a little bit more insight. <clears throat> the wake water. An ultra-pure liquid that flows from the ancient spring in the Life Temple. Linked to the power of the crystal of water, wake water once sparkled brightly and had magical healing properties. Now there is little left of it, but its strength is fading fast. Or excuse me, and its strength is fading fast. So, that would explain why everything's all fucked up. Anyway, back to Aquaria. Uh, I'm guessing we probably end up interacting with... Wait a second, can I just... I don't know how much longer uh, she's going to be in my party. Ah, uh, I could just keep doing this though, right? Let's see. Let's just uh, top off the arrows. Might as well. For all I know, she, <laughs> she could fucking leave immediately, but we'll see. Alright, that's good enough. Back to Aquaria we go. Oh, we're being controlled. I'm not doing this, by the way. I figured we were gonna go to this thing. Wake water, please save our town. That's it? I guess this town will stay frozen until the crystal of water shines again. Then we better hurry to the ice pyramid. Hmm, huh, okay. <sighs> Let's see. Has anything changed? Oh yes, yes, this guy said uh, because that one thing, right? So now we can purchase cure potions. So that's cool. Um, how many do I have currently? 24. Works for me. Alright, I think we, uh, that's all we could do there. So I believe our next step, uh, would be, yep, continuing on, so. Let's see what we got. We are able to go here now, perfect. I think this is a good place to save. And then we will, uh, see what the Falls Basin has in store for us. Alright, I actually don't have much time to uh, record. I'm getting super tired and it's really late. But, I can't record as much as I want to the next few days in real life, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get through the Falls Basin at least. Let's push this out of our way. Okay. Oh, we got puzzles here, people. Looks like you're gonna use this to jump over gaps, huh? Interesting. 
Are those walruses and mermaids? <laughs> uh... Aha! Uh -huh. Interesting. Oh, those would... Alright, that's what those guys look like? That's weird. Okay. <clears throat> Wasn't expecting that, but... I mean, I, I sort of see it now, but... Um... Hmm. Looks like it was a... Dead end. That's fine, though. Build that experience, right? Nothing there. That's where I came in. I don't think I could push anything there. So it looks like you have to go to the right. Or not? Huh. Was I missing something? What happens if I... It looks like that's, you know, probably what connects that area. So obviously I'm missing something here. Oh, wait a minute. Mm, no, that wouldn't make sense. Hmm. Yeah, that wouldn't make sense at all. So up there looks to be a boss with like a uh, important item of some sort and then a blow up wall. So that's ultimately like our goal, but um, hmm. how do we work around? It seems like everything's a dead end. I don't think we're tall enough to jump on this, right? No. Huh. And that's the exit. Well, you get to see my, uh, my full stupidity in full effect already. Right here. I'm actually thoroughly confused. So... It looks like you have to jump on these things, right? But... How... The fuck... Do you do anything at the beginning here? Unless I'm missing... Something. Right? Because I can't push these out of the way. Can I blow them up? No. Hmm. Maybe... Oh, maybe I could do this? I feel like that'd be too far though, right? No, maybe that's it. That's probably it. I think I was just so fixated on uh, pushing that block in the first area, you know what I mean? That I just... I don't know, I lost my way. So we'll see. We will see. Hey, we did something. Congratulations, me. Well, hopefully we don't make any wrong pushes, because if we do, then we're going to have to keep uh, resetting <laughs> this little dungeon. So let's see here. We're going to have to kill... Alright, we probably end up pushing this one. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. We probably end up pushing that where I thought you pushed the first one. To jump over there to clear out the next... Uh, whatever this is. Is this a Naga? A Gorgon? What is it? A Lamia, okay. Oh no, dude. Oh no. Okay. I'm not fucking around with this bullshit. No fucking thanks. So Lamia is no uh, mini 
status afflicting spells, I will say that. Oh no! We're asleep. I was expecting the fire to do a little bit more, but I guess not. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that we will push this here. That makes sense, right? I think that's a perfectly fine spot. We could always save. We could save scum if things go bad, right? Save myself some time in real life. And then I'm pretty sure that this is the next one, right? Alright, what would we like to do here? We're striking first. Um... I think I'm gonna do that, and then maybe we'll try... Maybe we'll try some wizard action. Hey, we found it. Oh shit, yeah, so they could sing and put you to sleep, the Lamias, and they also... I'll just read it. Lamia, top half man, bottom half snake. This monster likes to sing people to sleep. His stare also has the ability to confuse people. Wait, it's a guy? How come I never realized that? Huh. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> um, I think I have to move this one next. Right? Um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to do... something here. How would I do this? Do I move that one up here to the right, probably? Can I do that? Hold on, let me, let me count the pixels here. If I push it into that corridor, I could push it over one, then down. Nah, I wouldn't be able to make that jump over to this dude, I don't think. But, that's the only thing that's uh, kind of pointing out to me at, this, at the moment. Um, so let's... I push one, two... I have to push over one more and then push it. Okay, I think I got it. Let's see. I think we're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then go like this. Right? One, two, three. <laughs> see if this works, and then I have to basically re push this one. So we'll go. Over one, up, over, 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 one, two. Okay, let's see. Bloop, bloop. And looks like we are correct. Good stuff. Ah, I didn't mean to cast thunder. Oh well. Oh well. <clears throat> Fucking, this shit gets me every time, dude, I'm telling you. It's gonna be like, uh, thinking back to some other Final Fantasy games. It's gonna be like, forgetting to swap my... You know, the, the row management of my dead party members in the first few. Um, especially Final Fantasy 2, where the dead people get pushed to the back when you revive them, and then you can't even attack with some of them. More explosives. Alright, we got some more Lamias. So these are dudes? I'm so confused. Like, they have bras on, it looks like. I mean, I guess it could be a guy. I don't know, whatever. I'm just going off of what the guide says. Um... Yeah, let's not... God, I really don't want to fuck with them, but like, also... I don't want to waste all my spells, you know what I mean? Alright, we got kind of lucky there, I guess. Okay. Now what? <laughs> the fuck? Alright, so obviously... We probably have to push...
One of the other blocks needs to be pushed, right? Hmm. We need to get over here. So a block needs to come up in here somewhere. But which block would that be? Is the question. So let's uh, look around, I suppose. Oh, I see. I could just walk up here now, right? And reuse that one? Okay. So it's this one. So this one's gonna get pushed... Probably... It's either gonna be here or here. Let me think about this logically. I could easily push this up, right? Put it to here, and then get behind it and go one, two... Three... Maybe... Just here be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The reason I'm counting is it just kind of helps me keep myself with good pace here. And that we go. One, two, three, four. I could jump from multiple positions, I think, to get to that now. Let's see if I did it right. If I didn't, then I'll probably uh, save scum it so I don't fucking... Redo another 10 minutes. The question begs, when I get through here, if I retreat, do I have to kill the boss and shit again? I don't know. Alright, we got a boss, people. Let's save it. Did I save it? Yeah. Oh, a heal book? Didn't I already have that? Oh, that'd be for the, uh, that'd be for Razor, right? Okay, nice. Cool. Well, I got the heal spell, and let's, uh, let's read our, let's read our guide here, people, for the extra inside info. Heal spell. With this spell, you can heal all sorts of status problems, such as sleep, poison, and confuse. Great when you don't happen to have any heal potions. Uh, you can only heal one person at a time, though, so enemies can really give you problems. All right. <sighs> Let's uh, take on this boy. We got eight, the desert hags and a snow crab. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, I like the way that looks. Let's attack and then let's actually use this. 140. All right, so that does like basically nothing. Ooh! Holy moly moly moly! Alright, in that case, let's, uh... Focus our attacks here, just kill these guys. Then we're gonna have to heal Razor and then figure out if maybe another spell works better. Alright, that's fine. Um... Let's try... Fire... And then Cure Razor. Oof. Fire is decent. Um, let's cure Phoebe and see what her attack does. It looks like it's attack, people. Looks like it's attack all the way. That's fine by me. Alright, so we will heal ourselves and attack with Phoebe. Ooh! Holy shit, that was a lot. It's funny as shit turning you into the uh, a snowman. <laughs> Looks like he's falling apart, people. Oh no. That's no good. Let's try a bomb. Uh, we use fire. I mean, it could be worse, I guess. The bomb actually seems to be Razor's best move. Uh, this is where it gets sketchy. We gotta get this confusion healed, man. Nice. Not nice. Uh, boy, we're almost dead. Oh, fuck, we're draining all Phoebe's magic, man. This sucks. 
All right, well, we killed him, but <laughs> at what cost? You could use explosives, right? Here's how to use a jumbo bomb. Learn how to use jumbo bomb. Oh, well. So let's take a look at Phoebe's stuff here. She still has eight black magic usages. I guess that's, like, not terrible. Um. Boop. And boop. Dude, Cure is fucking OP as hell. God damn. Alright, so we have Jumbo Bombs. Is, are we, do we just inherently know that now? Oh wait, they are different? What? Do, would I have to manually equip them? Oh, I guess not, no. Okay, I see, that was attack power. I thought that was, um... You know, the number of bombs that I had. Okay. Let's see what the Jumbo Bomb does. Well, we could actually fucking read what it does. <laughs> uh. Oh, wait, is that it? Wait, can I go back to the town? Oh, sick. Perfect. Well, I answered my question of, you know, what the deal is. Um, should I rest at the inn is the question. I don't think so. I don't think so. So let's just give a little quick lore drop and then maybe... Is there a battlefield up here? Yeah, there is. Okay, cool. Definitely clear this shit out then. Then maybe we'll rest at the end after that. So, the Jumbo Bomb. Much more powerful than a mere bomb. Originally used to blast stone from quarries, these things also have quite an effect on irritating monsters. I like it. Alright, let's uh, clear out this battlefield. Oof. Holy mackerel. Let's see how the Jumbo Bombs, uh, react. Or, probably won't be able to figure it out for a little while here. <clears throat> I'll do definitely one fight where, you know, obviously I don't use... Ooh, what do we got here? Mages, huh? Alright, this might be the one to, to check it out. Jumbo Bombs are pretty decent. Pretty decent. Cured himself. Goddamn. Yo, I'll take this all day. No Lamias. Nice. No Lamias, no Lamias. Damn it. Oops, didn't mean to do that, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, not enough. Not enough. We're gonna get confused. Uh, I gotta put to sleep. I guess it could be worse. Hey, at least we're awake. <clears throat> Alright, six more to go. My cat Lily has uh, stumbled into my storage closet, which I hope she doesn't get too uh, inquisitive because we actually have a mouse trap that a cat could certainly jump to if they tried hard enough. I digress. Um, the battlefield's going pretty easy. I like the jumbo, uh, the jumbo bombs here. Big fan. Oof. All right, we will definitely be utilizing our last wizard spell here. Try to take care of uh, these lamias as quickly as we can. Four rounds left. Can we get away with? Ah, poopy. All right. Let's um. Do this, I guess. Combination of the two should kill them. Ah, son of a bitch, dude. Not even close. Oh no. This is no good. This is no good, people. We woke up and now we're confused. How about that? Oh my god, this is bad. <laughs> This is, like, humorous, actually. There we go. Well, that gets sketchy real quick. Uh, let's try Quake. And then... 
fire. So Quake doesn't do much either, huh? Fuck me. Yeah, it's uh, probably better off if you don't have your... Um... Oops, didn't want to do that. We want to do... Actually, do we want to? It might be enough to kill them. Yep. Yeah, if you don't have the, uh, the lightning spells, man, you're better off just attacking. Of course we miss. Why not? Yeah? Alright, no Lamias, no Lamias, no Lamias. Fuck. Poopy. Alright, um... Let's just attack then. Might be able to do enough damage with two enemies on the screen. Nope. <laughs> but, we took out the one at least, you know, so... And we woke up right away, perfect. All right, this battlefield number nine is closed. And we got 540 experience for our troubles. Let's head back to the town. Rest up at the inn. Uh, how much gold do we have? Well, that's a decent amount. Maybe we'll buy some uh, healing potions. Can you sell explosives? I think it might be. Wise to max out. Definitely stay at the inn. Good shit. Oops. And we are now at the precipice. The front gates of what I believe to be the Ice Pyramid, as it looks like. For you, you shall see it in a moment. For me, I shall see it tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, pretty cool aesthetic here in the uh, in the Ice Pyramid. Move my microphone just a little bit. Because I got bumped into last night. Um, okay. Oh. I was wondering what the hell is going on. I see a switch in the statue. But can't reach it. <clears throat> Let's push it with something. Sorry, I was just... Amateur hour over here. Removing stuff off my chair. It was making me uncomfortable. I had like a sweatshirt. It's fucking freezing. Alright. Uh, well, I just took a gamble there. So, <laughs> hopefully... Um, <clears throat> Hopefully that's kind of what we use to constantly do this. Refreshers and more arrows. Good. So this is weird. This looks like a... Almost like a futuristic pyramid. And I'm not seeing any enemies, which is odd. Oh! Oh! Random encounters now? Oh, shoot. Lamias, though, you know? I wonder if they're invisible? <clears throat> it would appear to me that they're invisible. Oh! Yeah, remember there's like the magic mirror, right? I remember hearing about that. Um... I tried, people, I tried. <sighs> and now we're confused. This actually kind of sucks. Because I don't know where the enemies are. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like clearing out all the enemies. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be able to find out until... 
I find the magic mirror, wherever that may be. Hey, we leveled up, though, so that's cool. Alright, not too bad, actually. We'll just focus our attack on the Lamia. So we are now on the second floor. Again, not quite sure <clears throat> what we're doing. We might be here for a little while. Uh, might be worthwhile to get my way out of here. You know, actually guys, I just took a look at the map. Looks like I missed the, uh, freaking magic mirrors on the first floor, dude. I would have gone through the whole goddamn dungeon without it. So it's back towards the entrance. At least I think we can get to it. You know, we might not be able to get to it. We'll see. Oops, uh, no, I don't want to do that. Well, <clears throat> it's going to be a bad time, people. Oh, boy, oh boy. Status afflicts so. Come on, dude. Oh wow, we got it off. Unreal. And now we're asleep again. <laughs> I'm not losing my mind or anything, I'm telling you. God, uh oh. Fuck. <clears throat> this is terrible. This is bad. Oh my god. We're just waste- oh, oh god, I'm so fucking annoyed right now. Stop, dude. I wasted so much black magic in that fucking fight. God damn it. Really fucking annoying. Great. <clears throat> anyway. Huh. Alright, now I'm officially mentally fucked. Where am I? That doesn't look... Oh, I see. Okay. So did I go the right way? Nah, I went the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I went the wrong way. <clears throat> Yo, Lamias though, they could like... Leave, for all I give a shit. <clears throat> Had enough of them. Yeah, the magic mirror apparently is over here. So... That's good at least. of enemies before the magic mirror, of course. Mm. Alright, <clears throat> so now all the uh, hidden enemies should be visible. The guide states, Created by a great magician, it is said that this mirror allows you to see the true nature of things, even a creature that makes itself invisible. Invisible, excuse me. So, yeah. 
should be able to see everything now. <clears throat> should be very uh, intriguing to see what I missed along the way, you know? It's probably passive, yep. Explosives. So this is a dead end, but I wanted to see if there was an enemy here. Ooh, that looks like... Oh, those are those floating magicians. For a second I thought it was a boss, but... It is not. I will fight you, though. Good sir. As you protect the dead end with your life. Yo, as long as I don't see Lamias, I'm good, man. Give me these encounters all day. Oops. Dude. I just realized I was using the magic spell the whole time. Oh my god. I honestly wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was just holding the button down. Fuck me, dude. Well, that really sucks. Um, okay. I think I have one of those uh, potions back still in my inventory. <clears throat> I don't want to use it yet though. Because I still have some black magic usage at the very least. Um, okay, so <clears throat> there's a door over to the left which I went to, then there's that one. And then there's actually a couple more doors. More door. So I just want to, again, kind of clear out the area because I'm going to come back and hit every door anyway, you know what I mean? Is there a guy up here at the dead end? No. There are dreaded Lamias, though. Oh no, a bunch of Lamias over here. No bueno. Just clearing everything out. Uh, I was kind of hoping it was going to be two. Alright. Uh, should we... Maybe focus on... This. Eh. Still not strong enough. Oh. Oh my goodness. Thank you. There's actually five doors on this floor. Well. keeps carrying himself. What a jerk. Alright. 
We are going to work our way from left to right as far as the doors. So, again, a few more enemies it looks like. Then we're golden. Should be able to get out of here. Good stuff. I'm actually surprised that they didn't throw a, uh, a troll enemy down there to the left. You know, for people that didn't have the, uh, the magic mirror yet. <clears throat> there is also another dead end coming up. That I will investigate. Just to see if there's more experience to be had. One more area to clear out. Right here. Yeah, we gotta strike first. And stuff. Now let's work our way over to the first door that we uh, originally went through. So that would be up here, and then down. Yeah, it's funny, when I first got into this uh, ice pyramid, for a split second I thought we were having random battles. I was like, what the fuck is this, dude? See, I don't mind these encounters. Obviously, they're slightly annoying, but I could focus on the one Lamia to start the fight where, <clears throat> you know, the annoyance of the uh, floating mages here are a lot less on the scale compared to the Lamias. What do we got here? Stony Roost. Oh, they should be uh, obliterated by air. I was gonna say the arrows. Absolutely. <clears throat> the one uh, sprite coming up almost looks like the boss of the last place that I was at. That. I just got fatal and fucking dead. <clears throat> Is that part of the difficulty in Mystic Quest? Uh, you get so used to just holding a button down that you don't pay attention and bad stuff happens. Oh man, that's rough. <clears throat> well, in that case, uh, life and cure. There we go. Let's clear the problem, children, out.
Hey, another switch. <clears throat> My apologies there, guys. Give me a second. Yeah, so that big throat clear I was trying to mute. <laughs> but uh, I didn't get to my <laughs> mouse in time. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I think I mentioned this before. Um, I have pretty bad allergies all the time. And I stopped taking my allergy pills just for, you know, general health reasons. And I've been fucking paying for it. I'm like... I sneeze like probably 15 times a day. I always have post-nasal drip, which is why I'm constantly going, clearing out my throat. I'm trying my best here to not be absolutely disgusting. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my uh, hand slipped off the mouse there. Choking in the clutch. Oh, shit, dude. A Sphinx and a Fanquid. <laughs> Alright, let's read about these guys. The Sphinx, a man's head on a lion's body and wings too, intelligent to a fault. It confuses enemies with its riddles, yes, which, obviously, if you're familiar with any of that kind of shit. Very famous lore. And then next we have the Fanquid. Another rubbery nightmare to contend with. This creature delights in shooting deadly ink at his enemies, and then it absorbs enemies, so it's... Or electrocutes it, yeah, it's like the same thing as the, uh, the boss, but probably... On a much lesser scale. Um, let's focus our attacks on not getting confused. Please. Thank you. I don't think that the battle theme will ever get old. It is so fucking good, dude. Alright, cool. Found some more arrows. So, I mean, like, yeah, it's offsetting the... The arrow gain, arrow loss, experience gained. At the end, it's it's kind of working. All right, so we can continue on here, which I think I'm gonna do. I just gotta make sure that if I get to what seems to be like an end area, to go back and backtrack, essentially. <clears throat> All right, striking first, so that's good, right? Plucked bird. Alright, we got some chests in here. Ooh, we got some weird shit coming up. The Gatherer. An eerie creature that consists mostly of an enormous eye. It attacks enemies with an energy beam that shoots at it through its eye. Its intense stare could paralyze enemies. Okay. How many? Two. We'll just do a typical... Oh, there we go. Great. Oh, well that worked. They're weak to the uh, explosion, huh? And we leveled up. Uh-oh, another crab. Freezer crab. A claw-thrashing, freezing, foam-blowing brute. It uses ultrasonic tones to strike and confuse its enemies. Hit it quick before it can get you on its dinner plate. Yeah, we'll start out with physical attacks. And by that I mean we'll just do it once, and then we're done. Heal potions. We want the seed. The seed is like our uh, our lifeline. Makes things so much easier. So anyways, I think that was... Uh... <clears throat> I think that's it for this floor. There's uh, four treasure chests and a bunch of enemies. So now it is time to backtrack. Luckily, through nothing, since we do our homework and we clear out all the dungeons. So now we would like to go to the second from the left.
It's actually funny, uh... You know, it's very late November right now, as the day of this recording. Um... And I'm playing Tales of Arise, so actually, it just started snowing a little bit today. Not a lot, just like some flurries. And I'm playing Tales of Arise, and I'm in the second major area right now, which is a snow area. Ice area. We're in a snow ice area here. I can't escape it. It's just, uh... Part of it all. Is that it? Oh yeah, this is the, uh... Okay, this is the other side of that room that I was just in. Interesting. Alright, so... <clears throat> the next step would be going to the one on a similar plane right there. And then I would go to the one that's pretty much directly to the north. Uh, and then there was the the final one closer to the right side. Is this? Uh -huh. There's got to be something underneath this Lamia, right? Or is it just a fucking joke? We'll find out. Well, at least they consistently did it to one person, right? Ugh, still not enough, though. Just don't confuse. Ooh! That's okay. Now we'll be able to win, so... It's all about not getting confused. That's, like, the worst one, dude, because... You could just kabong yourself so quickly, man. Oops. Aha! Arrows! Oh, uh, well. Better than nothing, I guess. Can I- is there a secret? No? Doesn't appear to be. Okay. Just double checking. Alright, let's go to the, uh, doorway entrance to the north here. And then we will follow up by going to the south. Okay, we have a switch here. Do you guys see that in the bottom right, by the uh, second floor? An enemy sprite appears when I hit that. I'm assuming that's just a glitch, but... Something interesting to note, right? Alright, well, we only have one other place to go. It is pretty funny. Uh, I'm assuming, obviously, this is the way to get through the dungeon. It's funny how they lay everything out. Everything is pretty much in order, like the... You know, if you go from left to right. I mean, I guess if you go from right to left, which some people would, you know, you'd find the, uh, the way out, so to speak, first, but... Interesting to note. More arrows. Just checking for secrets. Looks like we have to go through the Lamias. Couldn't throw me a, bro a bone with a uh, strike first. Come on now. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> Come on, Razor. Get it in, buddy. There we go. There 
All right. More to explore coming up. Just do some normal attacks. Easy peasy. Definitely have to buy some more bombs soon though, holy moly. We are running a wee bit low. <clears throat> these dudes they weren't too tough and hopefully that's a singular crab again that was also pretty easy oh yeah that's right those dudes got absolutely shrecked by the uh by the barrage exploding balls oh come on now this wasn't in the program all right damn dude those things still get wrecked by the uh, explosives even when there's multiple wow Although I guess that makes sense because there's been the two or three other times I encountered it, it was two of the enemies as well, so. Never mind. to see ya. I would like some explosives, please. There we go. Just gotta talk to the game a little bit, people. That's all you gotta do. Pretty sure this is just a dead end, but again, just want to see. Now, something might get triggered actually by that uh, switch over there. Interesting to note. Alright. <clears throat> no Lamias, please. Hashtag No Lamia, gang. 2021. <laughs> I guess I should probably heal Phoebe. Just in case. Even though we're about to blow these dudes up. Bam. I gotta hand it to it, man. Some of the sprite work in this game is, is pretty cool. And you know what? Low-key, I kind of like the, uh... This is like the only Final Fantasy I could think of, maybe. 
I mean, newer ones don't count because obviously they're not, you know, 8-bit, 16-bit, whatever. But every other one has a side view of some sort, you know, occasionally with some cinematic cameras around them, like in the PS1 area and, what, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, taking on this kind of almost Dragon Warrior style, I guess, if you will. <clears throat> Very interesting. Dragon Warrior, Fantasy Star type of mixture. A little refreshing. Some unnecessary arrows there. Definitely need some more uh, explosives. Alright, what do we get here? Oop. Who would have ever guessed that that would have been a switch? All right, so we gotta work our way around, unfortunately. Okay. Huh. You know, I still don't get to go in that middle spot. I would have thought for sure that we'd be going there, you know? Double checking to make sure there's not any kind of secret pathway. But now we are on the fourth floor. How about that? We have lots of stuff to look at. Uh, that is guarded by a switch. The, uh, the little icons of these random encounters with these floating mages, they kind of remind me of, uh, I think it's Snowrunt, the one Pokemon? You know what I'm talking about? Next time you see it, if we encounter it again, do yourself a favor and Google, I think it's Snowrunt. S-N-O-R-U-N-T. <clears throat> yeah, there they are. Oh, I don't know if this is... <laughs> are those, oh, those are just Sphinxes, right? Sphinx? Um, can I not get in there? Hmm. Alright, so let's see. We'll do some of this. Hopefully... The RNG gods are are not on our side. Fucking shit. Eat my shit. Oh my god. Well, guess it could have been worse. <laughs> Please kill them. Thank you. Alright, I'm still blinded. Bloop. Bloop. So there's a whole lot going on in that spot that I couldn't get to, but I need to obviously get, s I have to get there somehow, right? So <clears throat> we'll figure it out. Please don't miss this time, for the love of God. Thank you. Are you kidding? Oh, great. That's great. Oh, wonderful. Wow, that was close. So Paralysis does not carry over as a status affliction, which is interesting. Oh, thank God, dude. 20 bombs. That is a lifesaver. Um. Okay. 
Let's try fire on them. I don't know what that really would do, but we'll see. Eh. So not a whole lot is the answer. Got some parallax action going on in here. There's a broken tile. Hmm. Oopsies, no, 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 no. Yeah, great round there, people. Great round. Oh, good thing we got those 20 explosives, man. We'd be running out here before the boss. Shit. <clears throat> Ooh, critted. Ah, damn, dude. We got a lot of stuff to loot. How the hell do we get to that? Oh cool, more explosives. Good stuff. How do we get to that switch? Oh my god, not good. Not good, guys. Don't miss, please. Oh, really? Come on, man. Oh, terrible. We didn't even get our attack off, dude. Why are we so slow? Why are we attacking? What the fuck? Wait, what happened? See, this is one of the downsides of having the fast dialogue. I'm sure there's a reason for it, and I just didn't read it in time. Were we, like, recovering from a stun or something? I don't know. I do not know. Deedly, deedly, deedly. How do we get to that? I have so many questions right now. Oh, I could probably... Can I jump onto that? Where the fuck does that take me? Huh. Hmm. Oh my god. Well. I didn't mean to do that, but... <laughs> Okay. Arrows. Cure potions. I guess I did the right thing? And it looks like if I fall through the crack, I land on that. So that's interesting. I mean, at the end of the day, though, I wasn't expecting to do that. That was a mistake. But there's nothing better than when you fuck up and everything just goes according to plan. <laughs> right? <laughs> Because that's ultimately what I want, uh, you know, what I want, oh, excuse me, what I wanted to do. Sorry. Sometimes I speak too fast and I apologize. But, um... There are still a couple questions that I have regarding the fifth floor. I don't have a clue how to get some of those items. <clears throat> oh, fuck, dude, I forgot we're blind. Oh. So I think that we can jump. I didn't jump though, I won't. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a bit. Still forgot to cure my blind. Oops. I'm in straight grind mode right now, people. There is no outside world. There is nothing in my life except pressing the A button. More accurately, holding it down.
I guess I should start using stuff like refreshers in battle, right? I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing my thing. My RPG thing where I hoard shit. For no reason. Ooh. Bit rough. Nice. Take a look at it. Right there. Defense power 12. Powerful magical armor that resists poison attacks. The technique of its manufacture long forgotten. There are a few of these kinds of relics left in existence. Well, I'm glad that I have one, right? <laughs> All right, well, we got the grand prize was the uh, the noble armor, so that's good. Now we just kind of got to figure our way around that fifth floor again. And there was a door that was seemingly locked behind a lock with another lock inside of it. Refreshers. Um, oof, this is kind of shit. Uh, how about... Let's see what Quake does. Any good anymore? Not at all. <laughs> oh my god. Terrible turn, dude. Terrible turn. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that was actually good. That's not good. Can we snap out of it, please? Please? Don't. Don't confuse me. Shit. Please on them, not us. Okay. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Alright, we survived. Talk about a rough battle, though, man. That's a rough one. Holding my breath as I go into these ones. Ugh. Oh no, no! Oh my god, I used Quake by accident. Fuck! No good. It's fucking shit. Again, I just want to state how much I absolutely hate how this game stores your last fucking thing. Just default to attack, please. Super annoying, especially when the game is very grindy. It's like low-key, it's one of those things that like really is an oversight. I don't know if they're erring on the side of everybody's stupid and they just want to spam their spells constantly, but... I ain't about that life, dude. Just default me back to attack, please. Whatever the first dialogue option is. Especially like when you're in the middle of a battlefield and you're just kind of sitting there. You think I really want to actively think about what I'm doing at all times? No. Anyway. <clears throat> Take my criticisms seriously here, okay? I need the developers to go back in time and right their wrongs. All right, so we gotta go all the way back around. Um, that was a switch for that. Mm, before I do anything drastic, I might save it. Yeah, treasure chest. I gotta be careful here, apparently. Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if you step on this crack. Right? Because we have... I fell, right? I can't get to that switch. And there's a stairway here. It's very confusing, actually. 
Let's save it. Can I jump? I can. Oh god. I like how the crab gets like a snow beard when he's dying. It's mildly humorous. Alright, well. That works, so I could definitely jump over there, but like, what's up with this, dude? What is up with this? Nothing? What if I... Aha! Uh... Is that like a quick exit? <laughs> I'm starting to think that's what it is. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, it looks like it's an exit. So we're probably gonna save scum here. Oh! What the fuck is this? <clears throat> what the hell? Um... I don't know if I want to do that. Particularly. <sighs> or do I? Well... It might be time, people. It might be time to utilize my, uh... My thingamajig here, because we have lots of lamias around us. So I think I'm going to. Let's go ahead and... Bam, and bam. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna use a seed. We're gonna save it. Okay. Boop. Oh, this isn't too bad. Okay, try my chances here. <sighs> as long as it's two, you know what I mean? At the very least, as long as you don't miss, yeah. It'll be over, so. It's when it's more than two. Still not bad. So there was definitely... Uh, what did I end up missing, dude? And can I get back up? I guess is the question. Find out. Oh yeah, we still have that area with the uh, switches. It was behind the glass. Oh, a new sword, huh? I guess we'll try it out. Nice. Do you have any lore here? We do. The Knight Sword, a powerful battle sword made for a legendary knight, who used it to defeat a particularly evil foe. Attack strength increases dramatically, but since it's very heavy, only a few, a few may wield it. A fuel. Tongue twister. <clears throat> These guys are easy at least, right? I'd like some more explosives actually. Arrows. Oh, shut up.
Heal potions. It looks like there's stuff underneath this. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Like there's, um... Might be another one of those... I think it was the last dungeon that I was in, or maybe the one before. Could have been the bone dungeon, actually. I don't even remember. Where you landed on top of something, but there was also like a bottom floor. Like it looks like there's some sort of shit underneath me. Cure potions. Alright, here we go. Alright, if we stick with two, dude, we're golden with this fucking sword. Golden. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, here we go. The double miss. Alright. Well, as long as we don't miss... Still be fine. Cool. God damn it. A sleep. I guess we'll look around here. Okay, so I could use my cat claws to climb up there. That's obviously the boss. That's some really cool sprite work. And it looks like I can only walk... What the fuck? Oh, now I'm underneath. Huh. This is weird, dude. Very weird. Is there anything special about these, or is it just bullshit? I think it's just bullshit. Hmm. I think it's just bullshit. Nevertheless, I mean, fairly interesting, right? Okay, so I do have to go down. So up is to get to him, and then down is to get back over there. I want to go back over there, just to see. That might just be the exit, but... Still want to know what the fuck? Huh? Wait a minute. We will use those. All right. Gotta remember to cure my blindness. Self. Okay. Let's see how much our sword does to them. Does it kill them? It does. Okay. Probably a better strat, unless it's uh, two of them where we could just, you know, guarantee a kill with the bombs. Man, this sword is pretty fucking good, dude. Pretty good. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, we attacked first. Perfect. I did not realize that. <clears throat> Ouch! That's no good. Climbing up with our cat claws. I bet we don't miss this time. Especially since we uh, struck first. Now we're not killing these things for some reason? Did you notice that? Why is she hitting 316 now? I'm pretty sure she was one-shotting them. Unless I'm just misremembering because I was using the bombs. I do not know. Okay, so that brings me there. Oh, I wonder if the ice golem uh, opens up that shit, maybe. You'll see. All right, let's take him on. Let's take this boy on. We'll use a uh, regular cure real quick. Definitely save. Get our sword ready. Oh wait, now we have to climb up with the, the claw. All right, here we go. We got the ice golem. Made up of tons of living ice, the ice golem glows with evil vitality. He's absorbed power from the crystal of water and has grown quite strong. He throws blocks of ice at his enemy, puts them to sleep, and drains their energy. Since he's made of ice, he's weak against fire, which, I mean, obviously, sure. Uh, 6,500 HP, 80 battle strength, and 48 defense. So, uh, we will be casting fire. Potentially the whole fight. The explosives might work, too. <laughs> I'm enjoying our little game. Wait, what? The fuck just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Where'd he go? Uh. Yeah, what game are we playing, sir? Did you happen to unlock that stuff in this next room? Question mark. I didn't hear any clicks. Are you in here? Where the fuck did you go, dude? Well, that's certainly odd, huh? Hmm. What the hell? Oh, wait. Hold up. Oh, that is so misleading. So those graphics, because obviously the square, the way they made it, they can't have the uh, passageway go underneath those icicles. I did not realize. Okay. dude what are they tell me they are both arrows so I'm actually just gonna pass on them for the sake of time and here we are looks like the actual showdown first one was just a joke he was just kidding guys all right oh my god Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, I walked off the edge like an idiot. Well, guess what? Uh, now I can get the... I can get the arrows, right? How about that? So... Now I have to fall back down again. Oh, yay, yay.
I mean, it's not too big of a deal, but mildly annoying. I guess that's the, uh, the completionist in my subconscious was like, we're going to make you take a wrong step so you can go get those arrows. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Not the end of the world. Just a uh, word of advice, guys. In the Ice Pyramid, watch your step. Take your time. One, two, left. One, two, right. One, two, left. One, two. Save. You think you're a knight, huh? Fwaha! Take this! Yeah, it's, again, cool sprite work right there. Alright, um... Let's see the explosive bomb first, and then let's try fire. Obviously. 402. And 600. So fire does do more. Which is kind of what I was expecting. So we will spam the shit out of that. Oh, I only have one usage left because of that confusion. Well, that sucks. Actually, it didn't do much more damage than the explosive for me. He's melting, though. And now we're asleep. So that's great. <clears throat> Ouch. Alright, Phoebe. If you want to wake up... I'm all in. I'm all... Oh my god. Oh, we got the cure off, so that's good. Hey, Phoebs, you wanna wake up? Thank you. I might have been able to wake her up with a refresher, right? Oh shit, I attacked by accident. Still decent damage. Ouch. He's on his last legs here, people. Fully healed. Oh, he healed himself 200, that son of a bitch. Ouch. Easy peasy. All right. Oh. There we go. Was it the water crystal? <clears throat> the crystal. I'll go back to Aquaria and see if the ice is melted. Don't forget to see Grandpa. Right. Bye. Alright, I'm on my own here. Found the river coin. Oh, yo. <laughs> yo, could you imagine if they uh, programmed something stupid, like you could blow up the crystals and it's like fucking soft lock? <clears throat> Alright, so we got the river coin. Uh, the key to one of the four sealed doors in the focus tower, energized by the crystal of water. The river coin is ready to unlock the next pathway and open the next adventure. So the next step is indeed to go back to Aquaria. Um, what is the quickest way back? What happens if I... Should probably save it before I start getting experimental here. Can I just keep falling my way down? can't completely fall my way down. Maybe you can, but I wasn't able to do it.
You know, in a game with no random encounters, I do find the backtracking out of the dungeons to be quite tedious, to be honest with you. Um, again, maybe there's something that I'm missing. Very possible. There might be an item or a spell or just a general mechanic surrounding the crystal that I was unaware of, but... Yeah, not a huge fan. Because, I mean, even if you didn't clear out the dungeon, you probably already cleared out a path, right? To me, backtracking should only be present if there is a complete goal in mind. Meaning, you know, th there's a real reason to backtrack. I need to get something on the way out, or this, that, and the other. Or, <clears throat> if you want to just be difficult, obviously, uh, if there's random encounters, then you actually have to fight your way out. But, you know, in this very instance, we're just walking. That's all we're doing. But anyway, let's head back. Wait, can I go? No, I can't. Hey, everything's uh, thought out. Good stuff. Back in Aquaria. Oh, look how beautiful it is now. Look at that. Dee -dee -dee. Man, that's a lot of a lot of change right there, but I think it's worthwhile. All right, we're all healed. We're all stocked up on bombs. Look how beautiful it is here. Can I chop everything down now? Oh, I can't chop the fucking. Nah, oh, come on now. Spencer is a good friend of Captain Max. They're both kind of weird. Okay. They're both weird. Woo! Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Uh. Here we are. Oh, shit. Well, that looks like that's the next place to go. Um, but... Oh, my God. Am I forced to do that? No, okay, good. I wanted to go... Explore a little bit more here. Thanks to you, I'm well. You are welcome. Boop, boop, boop. There's Phoebes. Thanks, have you met Grandpa? He's in the tunnel under this house, so I... Okay. Is her grandfather named Spencer, I'm assuming? Well, we'll find out. Let's do this shit. Uh, if only I could just jump directly into the water, right? Man, the colors really freaking pop in this game, dude. When I think of very vibrant colors, I think of, like, the second Master System, honestly. Like, that had, I know it was 8-bit, but had some really vibrant colors, man. Sega's RGB, native RGB boards that they had in the Master System and the Genesis are so good looking if you have the proper setup. Like, even I don't have a perfect setup, but I have a, uh, you know, I got good quality RGB SCART cables. And I run them through a uh, RetroTINK uh, SCART to component. And then into my old Philips TV and it, the Sega stuff looks fucking prime, dude. Looks prime. This uh, dungeon setup kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy uh, 2 slash 4 on the SNES. A nice little jaunt underneath somebody's house. <clears throat> Alright. Got some stuff to look at here. Wait, is there anything up here? It's kind of odd that they'd let you climb up there for no reason, basically. Well, there's a uh, Spencer, it appears. Nothing over there. Looks like we could blow that up. The 
ice is melted? How did it happen? Phoebe and I restored the Crystal of Water's light. Then you're the knight in the prophecy. The shield has found its owner. Huh? A shield used by a knight in the days gone by. Captain Mac found it. Captain Mac? I heard of that name before. For years, Mac's been studying a prophecy. On his way back from doing some research, the lake dried up and his ship ended up on a rock ledge. But that's no problem. If we dig from here, we'll be able to reach the ship. Anyway, here's a key. The shield is hidden in the focus tower. Receive the Venus key. By the way, Fireberg's been having some strong earthquakes lately. Thanks for the tip, bruh. <clears throat> Cure potions, let's go, baby. How the heck do we get over to that, uh, this little thing, though? Right here, how do we get to that, is the question. Hmm. Anyway, let's read about the Phoenix, uh, excuse me, the Venus key. Only this key will unlock the chest in the focus tower that contains the Venus shield. The key has been handed down from father to son for centuries, for use only by a knight of the light. Dude, how do you get... Do you come back here to get to that? That's bothering me. That shit's bothering me, son. Alright, let's get out of here then. Oh man, that's a long walk out. Come on now. Maybe I'll learn like a warp spell or find one at some point. I guess you don't learn it in this game, you'd find it be super helpful it's almost like they just kind of add um maybe they added this for the the illusion of exploration and the illusion of it being a longer game do you know what i'm trying to say very possible i thought that was a side entrance hmm. noted for next time so anyways um, we're gonna have to go back to the focus tower. Oh my god, guys, I was literally just talking about it and I looked down onto the next battlefield segment and there is going to be an exit spell. Oh, great. Great, great, great. Because I, I, I think it was, I don't know, kind of pointless. You probably should have got the exit spell pretty early, but for whatever reason they were like, nah, fuck you, dude. I'm like, okay. All right, let's, uh... Find some new battlefields, wherever they may be. I'm assuming I gotta go back? Right? I don't think there's anywhere else to go, so I probably have to go backwards. Out of here. The Libra Temple. Oh, here we are. Here we are. All right, let's see what uh, kind of bullshit awaits us in these battlefields, huh? Oh, we get the exit from one of the battlefields. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. Huh. Is it just gonna be them? The guide is warning me that uh, it's tough to beat these by ourselves, so we'll see. But yes, apparently at the end of this, I get the exit spell. Oh god, it is tough to beat by yourself, huh? Well, let's hopefully not miss. Good. So that lowers my magic, but if I remember correctly, these things have a high resistance to magic anyway. Unless it's... is it draining my magic? I should probably check. Let's see. Uh, I actually don't even know. I don't think so. <clears throat> the sword's pretty sick though, I'm not gonna lie. I wonder how much HP this thing has. I feel like we're like super close to killing it in one hit every time. Is there a bestiary in the back? Let's see. We got spells and items and armors and weapons, but it doesn't look like there is a bestiary in the back. Okay, no big deal. 
That would have been nice if they included that with the game. To my knowledge, the only stuff that came with the game itself uh, are the things that I have, which is the instruction manual, which is another one of those uh, patented SNES, actually not even SNES, NES era as well, uh, Squaresoft manuals where they give you a kind of like a first fourth of the game strategy guide in the back of it. It's pretty nice. Full color, everything, obviously. And um, then they also give you a world map poster uh, that is detailed. But unlike Final Fantasy 1 on the NES, for example, no, uh, no bestiary. This one's not that bad. I mean, I guess if I miss and the Sphinx confuses me, things get really fucking shitty, but isn't that the name of this game, guys? If the status effect doesn't get you, then you're pretty much home free, right? about this is I don't even have to use magic here. I'm just ripping through this. Let's go, baby. Also, what's this dude doing in the middle of the grass? Can he be by the water? Or at least ice? Alright, final one. Don't give me some fucking Sphinx shit. Hit. Thank you. Yo, all in all, I'd say not too bad. I will say this, though. Apparently, the next battlefield, they highly recommend that I come back with an ally. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. And we got the exit spell, baby! Alright, let's first... cast Cure on ourselves and save. Cool. So the exit spell can be used in dungeons, caves, and so forth to transport you directly to the entrance or exit. Use it on an enemy to transport the beast to the nth dimension. Bye bye. Okay, so it works as a insta kill spell, huh? All right, let's try our hand here at Battlefield 11 without an ally. But otherwise, we'll have to mark it down to come back later. Freezer crab. So what if I fire you? Oops, I didn't mean to double fire you. Oh. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, freezer crab again. How much do I hurt you with my regular attack? More? Yo, did I get hurt for attacking him? What the hell happened there? Weird. Is it just going to be freezer crabs? So again, I have the message speed uh, set way too quickly. I'm assuming that I'm getting like frostbit or just some kind of kickback retaliation from the first attack it appears. I mean, if it's physical. Whatever. I keep striking first, so that's good. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say. I'll keep rolling with it. Oh, dude, we are ripping through here, man. Let's go, baby. Okay, I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. This is where it might get a little sketchy. Oh, no. Oh, guys. Guys. We ran. <laughs> Let's hope for days of better RNG. There we go. So I've now confirmed that it is RNG, your encounters here, huh? We went from a two encounter to a one encounter and a strike first, so legit. At least uh, the game seems to be very um, forgiving with the run system. Mm. 
Alright, we're still in shape. Cool. Three more. Let's pop another cure. There we go! All I wanted was one crab. Oh, we missed. That's no good. That's no good. Again, I just want to reiterate, how do you miss a fucking crab that's like 17 times the size of you? You know what I mean? That video game logic. Let's go, baby. We got this. Don't confuse me. Thank you. Come on. One more. And let's pop that. I don't even need to go back to the inn. I use like two spells. Big deal. I'm assuming we'll get another companion soon, so... And here we are. Cleared this one out without a companion. Eat my ass guide. We don't need fucking two people. So we got 744 experience points for that one. And this is the Wintry Temple. And this is another entrance to the Focus Tower, which should be where we need to go to use the River Coin. So let's make sure we are healed and saved and continue on our journey into the Focus Tower. Oops. Well, I guess we're inside. <laughs> All right, let's see where to go here. Uh, don't think I can get to those that chest from up here, so. Oh, it's our boy. Some awful news made Captain Mac race from his home. Anyway, seek Reuben Fireberg. Say, what's the statue for? What? All right, well. Oop. Ah, the Venus Shield. <clears throat> All right, so. Like the Knight Sword, the Venus Shield was made for a legendary knight who used it to defeat a particularly evil foe. The person who wields it becomes strong against paralysis attacks and finds his or her defensive power increase tremendously. Gotta love it. Yeah, so what is a statue for, huh? You tell me. Obviously some kind of puzzle later on. Might be a, uh, push it down here. Oh, you can't jump over that, huh? Interesting. I was thinking you would push it over and then down and then here maybe blizzard oh shit I was actually not expecting to uh, to find another spell but that's good though because I think we're headed towards like for the crystal of fire right so probably that's gonna be uh, a very valuable spell for me good stuff <clears throat> All right, so let's kind of find our way through here. Um, <clears throat> so obviously we have to move the statue. I still think we probably have to move it down there. Boop, 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 boop. And then probably... I would guess right here, right? That would make sense, I think. But how do we... How do we get up? Hmm... Mm-hmm-hmm... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to do on this floor. We wouldn't leave already. That wouldn't make any sense. The fuck? Hmm.
What's the deal with that? I feel like that's pointless. Can't blow those up. Okay. Uh. Hmm. What would we do? I feel like you need to use it to get over to the other side, but how do we get up to the point where... You know what I mean? Hmm... Does it have something to do with those blocks? I can't jump on them though, you know what I mean? Let's uh, reset the focus tower. try pushing it uh, right up against the block, I guess. So over and then... Uh, three, four, over, down. Can I jump up? Actually, a little bit confused. Because to my knowledge, there's nowhere else to go right now. So I feel like I have to get up there, right? Because I blew up the, the, the first floor, there's nothing there. I blew up the second thing to get the Venus shield. Talked to the dude, got the blizzard spell. Was told to move this, and I feel like I moved it in the right spot, but... I'm obviously missing something? It, ha it has to go there. I just don't know what we're doing with it. So maybe there's something else that I'm missing, like, outside? Can I go past this? I can't? Oh boy. Maybe... Maybe something with the wintry temple? I don't think I can get in there yet, because I don't have that warp. Huh. I am done stumped by a fucking Final Fantasy Mystic Quest puzzle. <laughs> Temple. Oh, wait a minute. This is a different entrance to the focus tower. Okay, so now I'm up here, right? Uh, huh. So, can I jump down? Well, I think I have the right idea. I'm just not in the right spot still. Right? Hmm. Okay, there was that. That's the way out. Okay, those are the stairs downward. Okay, I see. Alright, we're making moves, people. We're making moves here. That was the way I came in before. Am I 
making moves, or am I just kidding? I'm starting to wonder. <clears throat> More explosives. What's our new coin? One with the wand on it? Oh, okay, I see. There we are. Okay. We're good now, people. Bloop and bloop. Perfect. So there is a exit over there. Let's see what's on the right first. Drinking some Coke. I'll try to keep my uh, my lid off so I don't have to keep screwing and unscrewing it. Floor three. Cure potions. There's a door. And now... Whoa! Shit's going crazy out there. Alright, we got another battlefield here. Should we try to take it on? We have a lot of battlefields, it looks like. Shit. Alright, let's see what's up with our attack. We got a, a strong boy here, huh? <clears throat> but when we crit it, it don't matter. Let's try our new uh, lizard spell, maybe. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, we got critted again. This is no good. Oops. Let's try this and then we have to heal. Pretty good damage. Does. 700, I was gonna say 700 or 800 probably. Cool. It's a relatively easy one here. It doesn't look like it's gonna yield much. <clears throat> oh, unexpected attack. Well, as long as you both don't crit me. these battlefields, man. It's like begging me. I am a grinder by nature, so the fact that it's here, it's just like I just want to do it every single time. Like, if I'm gonna be on top of it, man, I'm not coming back. If I don't have to, I'm getting it all done at once. Oh, 900 gold. That's not bad. I was expecting a little less, to be honest with you. Alright, that battlefield is cleared. Oh, we got another one, though. Hmm. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we got jellies and sting rats. Oh, we got critted. We are blinded. There we go. Oh my god, dude. <clears throat> yeah, let's try the exit spell on him. Hey! I wonder how often it hits, because I feel like in most RPGs, 
uh, those types of spells don't work very well, you know what I mean? Like, uh, D-Soul and Shining Force, for example. Alright, let's try the, uh, sword. Shit, we gave him a haircut. I love the strike first, baby! Oops, I did not mean to do that. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Yep, and we got critted, of course. again soon with all these fucking battlefields, man. this fight in case we uh, encounter some more jellies so we don't get fucking critted. Alright. I wonder if one more level up might push me to the point where I can one-shot these things. Would be nice. round. Oh, cool, we get the Gemini Crest. Let's see. The magical crest adorned at the Gemini mark, just like the other crests, this one allows you to warp from one place to another. The ancients created this mode of transportation to make sure that they would get to places fast in the event of danger. The crests were once carefully guarded, but became scattered over time. So yeah, I think uh, it was back in that other place there was some treasure that I can get to, but... I don't have a... Uh... I don't think I have the first warp point, though, you know what I mean? <clears throat> like, wherever the warp point is, I'll be able to warp from it and then out of there, but... Uh, if I go back to the place with the two chests and the warp point, I can't just get in there, I don't think, so... Uh, actually, let's... Do that. Alright, another battlefield. Oh shit, plant man. Um, we'll just try the sword. Of course we miss. Would have got the uh, one cycle, well, two cycle kill, but... It was not to be. Let's try a bomb if it's one more. Just testing the waters here, people. About the same. Probably won't use bombs unless it's, uh... I guess like three people, maybe? Doesn't seem to be worth it. Alright, this is a little tough, actually. This is gonna take four turns. <clears throat> and if I get critted... Or I miss... 
course I crit him, but... The unnecessary crit. Alright, let's heal. Okay. What would we like to see? One at a time. There we go. <clears throat> Looks like we're gonna get lots of goodies soon. So when I have the guide open, I'm not really referencing it unless I'm stuck or if I'm trying to read you guys the lore. But occasionally, obviously, your eyes are meant to wander. But I'm seeing lots of cool artwork of various uh, items and weapons and stuff upgrades that we shall be getting soon, it appears. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm also liking the RNG here, just getting tons of uh, single enemies. I will heal though, just in case. Might get two or three out of nowhere here to end it. Nope, just one again, wow. Gotta be leveling up again soon, right? Just fought like 20 battles in a row. <laughs> Alright, we leveled up, how about that? What did we get from that? I'm guessing double experience. Yeah, 816 experience points. That'll do it. So here we are in Fireburg. A guy came in saying he could open any lock. There are tons of monsters in the mine up north. Yes, we will be killing literally every monster. How about buying my battle axe for 500 GP? Uh, yeah, sure. Hope you're happy with the battle axe. I don't know, let's see. Hey, I am happy. <laughs> Can I rest for free here? Nope. What do we got downstairs? Well, we got the warp spot, people! Oh. Okay, wait, where are we? Oh, I'm back to one of the old towns, huh? Well, oh, is this, uh, yeah, 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 Aquaria, okay, well, shit. That's cool, though, because there are a few instances, I think, where backtracking would be, uh, you know, worthwhile, right? But that is not the Gemini warp that I was hoping for. I was hoping for the one with the treasure chest. It was not to be. A mask lets you see the monsters through the gas in the volcano, okay. Another gimmick? <clears throat> How about some explosives? Um... I'll take five. Ooh, who the fuck is that? A volcano seemed odd, so my husband, Arion, climbed it with his friend. But his buddy freaked out, ran home, and locked himself in. A boulder is keeping us from saving Arion. You're Reuben, huh? Have you heard about the Crystal of Fire? I can't deal with that now, I gotta go help Dad. Well, why don't you let me help you? He's stuck behind a boulder. There'd be no problem if we had a Mega Grenade, but only Dad's friend can use them. Where's the guy's house? In this town, but he's a shut-in. We'll pay him a visit anyway, come on. Well, there we go, we got big rubes. Looks like he's uh, into live music. How about that? Can we rest here? I'm trying to just save money whenever I can, people. Oh shit, Ruben's a fucking animal. Look at him. Got his fucking morning star. Really cool armor. Oh, this is a big hotel. How about some cure potion? Uh. 
Nah. Oh shit, there is live music. <laughs> Wanna listen to this band? Yeah, sure. Oh, I was wondering, I was listening to the soundtrack like a couple months ago, and I was wondering what this track was from. I remember thinking, wow, this is really upbeat. Nice to see you again, kid. Is that freaking the dude from earlier? That is, right? Is that the guy that had the throwing stars? I think so. Oh shit, seeds! Hell yeah, brother! Let's buy some fucking seeds. I'm all in. That was really good, actually. Because now I could spam magic. Um, Do I bother resting? I don't think so. Oh, the music stops when you go into your menu. That's sad. Wow, so that was a, a whole lot of stuff, huh? <clears throat> oh, we can climb down as well. Oop. Oh, this is the shut-in. It's locked. It's locked. Hmm. Okay. This is the entrance of the town, I believe. So should I go talk to... Oh wait, how do I get down there? What the hell? How do I get down there? Maybe I can go this way? Right here? Mm-hmm. Be worse. All right, let's see. <sighs> you can't let a monster get the best of you. Blah 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 blah. blah. What's up? We went to the house in the pit, but the guy wouldn't let us in. You two want in? Then take this. Receive the multi-key. There she blows. Ah, the multi-key. This key magically adjusts itself to fit inside and open any lock in existence. It is said that the key, key was crafted long ago by a powerful wizard working part-time as a burglar. Tristan found it while treasure hunting. It opened. I'm just trying to get a free rest anywhere I can, people, alright? I ran when I saw the monsters in the volcano. A huge boulder fell and trapped Arion. Only a mega grenade could free him. How do you use one? Just throw it. Oh, sick. Go through the abandoned mine to reach the boulder. Cool. We got some mega grenades. I don't have that warp yet, but I could note that for later. So the Mega Grenade, the most powerful explosive in the world. Now you can throw an explosive to clear out things that are blocking your path, such as boulders. You don't want to run out of these. Interesting. And we also have a little breakdown here of Reuben. Son of Arion, proud citizen of Fireburg. His fiery red hair and skill with the Morningstar Mace mark him as a citizen of Fireburg. He's not so strong in the spell department though, but he's sure, or excuse me, but he does know how to use life. So he's basically just like a melee beast. But he can revive me, which is good. Alright, so... Let's actually- oh yeah, let's try to leave the town from the left side, right? That would make sense. Okay. Everybody's favorite! More battlefields, people! 
more battlefields. The good news is, is that we have the ability to uh, rest at the inn in case we want to use fire. Which I don't know if I do. Let's try our new uh, explosive. And let's uh, physically attack here. Oh shit, he's a one-hit KO specialist. Oh sh I did not want to use the, the bombs again, that's my bad. Did not want to use the bombs. Okay, so... Flazard. I'm gonna go ahead... Cast a Blizzard on the Flazard. 666, oh shit! There we go. Alright. Let's just... Well, actually, no, I got the axe. That's right. I forgot I got the axe. Let's see how strong it is. Will I one-hit kill these things? Oh, absolutely. With that shit. Was that a crit? I didn't even notice. <clears throat> Should be easy enough. Alright. Let's destroy melee. Uh, unexpectedly attacked, of course. Ah, I see why the developers gave us the seeds, because Ruben doesn't know magic, so Razor's like the only magic user, really. I mean, he knows life, but he doesn't know cure and all that kind of shit. So let's go right ahead and just double up. Yes, we'll do some more lore diving here as we, uh... Oh, we got poison? What? Just kidding. Alright, back to our regularly scheduled programming. So the Flazard is a flaming lizard born deep inside the world amidst the flowing rock magma. Spits flames, attacks with claws, and can paralyze you too. How about that? Three more to go. It looks like the next battlefield yields something pretty nice. So I don't want to spoil it. The hint that I will give is it's uh, something familiar. Should be uh, pretty useful. Almost done here. Takes a little bit longer. Um, some of the enemies don't die in one hit, and obviously... I'm getting lots of threes. I did get the uh, spoiler that the next... Uh, Battlefield as a reskinned enemy, but now this time they are equipped with everything that makes them annoying Sleep and confusion All right, cool. We got lots of GP there, so that's good um, Let's do Sure, why not? Alright, let's take this shit down. Claim our prize. Remember these guys? Well, now they're red caps. And let's hope that we kill them in one hit. I don't want to play the uh, the confusion shuffle, if you will. Okay, so red cap, I think I'm going to try the blizzard here on all. Uh, 
son of a bitch. I mean, you know, obviously it's not bad or anything, but... <sighs> if you can't one-shot things, dude, it kinda... I don't know. Makes it kinda meh. I feel like the Blizzard spell should be doing more damage against a Flame Lizard. Like, do you see how that sounds? <clears throat> you know, I wonder something. Did the devs do that on purpose? Where they put Ruben's uh, stats... Oh, I didn't mean a Blizzard. Fuck. They put Ruben's stats to where he's hitting fire enemies, 666. I wouldn't put it past him. I will do Blizzard again. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get some heals. Running low on magic here, people. Running low on magic. But we're almost done with the battlefield. These are the encounters I like to see. Ah, come on, man. Let's uh, try our bomb again. Uh-oh, Big Rubes is asleep. Alright. Final countdown. Hey, we can attack first, which is good. We're just gonna melee. Blizzard isn't as good as uh, I'd hoped. Three. Come on, Razor. Pull oh, behind it. Oh boy. Hey, we got an attack off while confused. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, let me think. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna get hit either way. That's good, I guess. Obviously, if we're gonna get confused or put to sleep or something, we'd rather the enemy do it to the same person. It's when you get that double confusion string going, dude, like everything, all hell breaks loose. The Thunder Wizard spell. Look at that. More magic for our disposal. Yeah, what the hell? Okay. That's a bit obnoxious every fucking time you move. You gotta deal with that. But at least the hotels are right here, so that's good. Boop -a -doop -boop 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 -boop. Boop, boop, boop. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll just rest. I think. I will stay. Wait, is there anything up here? Just realized I didn't really go up here before. It doesn't seem to have any like secrets, so we'll leave. And the next step uh, is going to be that place by the last battlefield, I'm sure. Boop, boop, boop. Now let's see. Can I? Still go to the left? I can, okay. 
I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like I actually had to leave left of the town to get here. But cool, the mine. Let's give it a save, and uh, we'll head into the the mine. All right, let's see what this mine has to offer. So the guide calls it an abandoned mine, but the game only calls it a mine. So what's the story here? Huh? Oh shit! Oh, we're getting spooky in the mine here. We got a zombie that is literally a mummy, which I guess if it's animated, it sort of is a zombie, right? Either way, wouldn't, hold up, hold up. Wouldn't fucking fire work better against these assholes? Because they're dead? Do you know what I mean? Am I wrong? Okay, so fire does nothing, which I guess would make sense because this is a fire area, right? But that goes against all logic from even their own games. <laughs> Undead enemies are weak to... Uh, oh shit, I didn't mean to cast fire. Please kill it. Okay. Undead enemies are weak to fire or holy weapons or spells. So, I don't know. You tell me. What the fuck is this? Oh, huh. This is interesting. We get to attack first too, which is good. Should be a clean sweep. Bam. I'm not gonna lie, the uh, the red hats or whatever they're called. Their outfit looks really comfy, man. They look like they're wearing sweatsuits and they got like a beanie on. <clears throat> I dig it. And they kind of look like your traditional imp, except they're uh, what are they hype beasts? What kind of shoes they got on. That's the real question. All right. Hey, Razy leveled up. Just realized Razor's uh, not doing well. <clears throat> Let's hope for a good. Uh, oh my god. Don't. Oh no. Alright. So let's attack there and attack there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We gotta heal people. Mm. Fucking items better be good. Heal potions. Meh. But. Good enough, I guess. Let's clear out the other side. That's what we do. savings time completely fucks me up it's literally like six o'clock and I'm like fucking beat a little earlier I took a break to get a drink and it was like I'm not kidding like 510 or something and all I thought about was like holy shit if today was a normal work day which it wasn't it was a half day I would have just been getting out of work <laughs> I was like ready to go to bed <clears throat> But the show must go on, people. These games will not fucking play themselves. I've learned that over the years, alright? Yo, did a zombie just revive? What the fuck? Oh, that's no good. One thing that I majorly regret when I was younger, whether it be high school era, college era, whatever, doesn't matter. I didn't play enough games, man. I just didn't. 
I spent way too much time just dicking around on the computer. Which I guess is sort of like the modern, or the old school version of being on your phone all day. So much wasted time, I could have been playing games, man. But, I'm doing my best now, at my older age, to try to get through all the games that I wasn't able to get to when I was a kid, or in high school, middle school, college, whatever. And this is one of them. There might be some people, you know, in my community or friends of me, with me, that might be a little surprised, like, wow, you never beat Mystic Quest before? No. I did not. Pretty much, what was the first place called? Let me see. Uh... I think I maybe, maybe got to Foresta once when I was a kid. Not that it was fucking difficult or anything like that, it's just I just didn't fucking play it, you know what I mean? So... Can I jump in there? Hmm. Whoa! Wasn't expecting that. Oh, I definitely skipped something, so I hope I can go back. <laughs> I'm assuming I can. Oh, no. Thank you, wake up. Probably have like what, like 500 something HP, I'm guessing. Alright, let's blow this shit up. You know what, let's bomb him, fuck it. Dead end, you fuck. But, again, doesn't really matter, I was gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Much ado about nothing. <clears throat> oh, that's no good. Man, that's no good at all. Shit. Right, I gotta heal. Two mummies walk into a bar. Great joke. Anyway. Hey, that's what we fucking signed up for right there. Let's go. Out of my way. I need this chest. Can I get a one-hit KO? You know it. You know it. Oh! A Charm Claw. What are we working with here? Oh, there's a- oh! Does that give me resistance or does that make me charm enemies? Because the attack power is a lot less actually, so let me see. The Charm Claw. Ah, shit, those are one-way escalators, by the way. That thing that I went down. Apparently. Oh, no, 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 never mind. The escalators are, duh, the things that are fucking moving. That was an elevator. My mistake. The Charm Claw. Full of magical properties, the Charm Claw is a relic of days gone by when great sorcerers battled each other. When you attack an enemy with a uh, Charm Claw, you could petrify, paralyze, or confuse it. But you haven't the power to select the type of status damage that you wish to inflict. Okay. Okay. Good to know. I'm pretty sure that I missed... Can I go back up? Oh no, really? Shit. 
Can I not go back up? There's got to be a way up. I'd say one way. We'll try the uh, Charm Claw for shits and giggles. Not in this battle, though. Ugh. Yeah, definitely not in this battle. <clears throat> oh my god, I didn't kill any of them, dude. Really? Bunch of tough cookies over there, huh? Uh, is there something hidden? Nope. Oh, we can climb back up. I think that's the, uh... That's what we're looking for. Well, you know me, people. I'm clearing out the area. I'm trying to, like, figure, is the, is the Charm Claw even worth it? Like, maybe if the Charm Claw could fuck up a boss with a status affliction, then that might be worth it. But on these normal battles, I feel like there's better things to choose. This, uh... Yeah, this particular part is pretty quick. Then there's a couple other parts coming up that almost look exactly the same, so it's sort of confusing. Alright, that's a dead end. Yeah, I think this is the, uh... The last spot to loot here, actually. To my knowledge. Then it's boss time, baby. We could try out the uh, the claw. The dreaded claw. So the thing that's interesting about this game. Well, actually, I guess not, right? I was gonna say there's a level cap, but there isn't, because if you, like, leave a cave or whatever the fuck you're exploring and you go back in, I think the enemies all respawn. So I'm assuming the level cap's probably 99, which would make sense. Should we try the claw? Should we try the claw? Yeah, let's try the claw. Let's see. Oh, we missed? Come on, man. Give me a good claw fight. Give me a good claw fight here. Probably not the best fight to do the claw. I'm gonna go ahead and not do the claw. bunch of explosives, which I just wasted one by accident thinking I had the claw equipped. Uh, as far as, like, casually playing the game, definitely some spots that are, uh, not really worth it to loot, uh, but, you know, when you're me and you just want to clear out all the areas, you know, it is what it is, you might as well take the, uh, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, whatever the fuck you want to call it. All right, so we can't go there. Ooh, that is a one way. Looks like we have to climb back up. Might as well kill you. You're in the way, bruh. We trying the claw here, people? I guess we are. Yo, is the fucking... Is it like... Okay. Like, how often does it fucking work? <clears throat> I think it's ass. I'm gonna call it right now. This weapon sucks. 
there might be a big time use for it somewhere, but I don't know. I do not know. That's where I went last time, right? Um, I think so at least. Yeah, I definitely went there before. Hmm. But, let me see. Can I go, isn't this an opposite escalator? It is. I'll see if I can game the system here with a jump, but it doesn't look like I can. Am I just going around in circles? I think I am. Whoops. Also very easy to accidentally use extra spells or uh, extra items. Yeah, I don't think I can get up there. How the fuck do I get over to the other side then? If the escalators go on the fucking wrong way, right? I'm pretty sure I've been through this already. What am I missing? <clears throat> bit confusing a wee bit confusing um yes that's also one way and this brings me back essentially to the beginning wait did I go down I don't think I went down here right Nah, I don't think I did for some reason I thought I did yeah obviously I didn't okay makes sense at least not going crazy Doesn't look like there's anything down there. out maybe yes we are quickly approaching what appears to be the boss room which is actually a very very common uh, other common appearance in the Final Fantasy series Got some more enemies here. Might as well take them out. <clears throat> hey, we leveled up again. Sick. realize I haven't been using my uh, my blizzard spell at all. Oh well. No biggie. Oh, uh, that is a... I remember that. That brings me to a spot that I don't want to go, so fuck that. Alright, let's heal up. Oops, did it again. 
step forward. Save. And let's take on... Oh, that's right, baby. It's Jin. Um, let me think. Yeah, let's get a, an AoE attack. We gotta take out these skellies. Ooh, 319. God damn. Let's focus on taking out the skeleton. Another 300. Yikes. Oh, it didn't take out the skeleton. Are you fucking kidding? Well, unfortunately, we're gonna have to not attack Jin this turn. We gotta get rid of this dude. Okay. Let's use Blizzard and attack. Give you a quick lore dump on Jin here as I hopefully frickin' heal Razor. Oop, and attack. Heal, heal, heal! Thank you. Jin, a monster of fire. This brute can transform his size until he seems enormous. But he's really just about the size of an average person, so don't be fooled. He usually attacks with fire, but as you can see, he also wields a fine, sharp blade. Chill him out with the blizzard spell. You got it. <clears throat> oh, he's getting weak, baby. So am I. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, cure. And attack. And then we'll have to cure Reuben next turn. Oh shit, he's getting smaller, people. Alright, let's go in with Blizzard. And attack. Oops, that's no good. Gotta heal again. Oh, just kidding. Alright, let's head on in. Ooh. Ten explosives. Cure potions. More explosives. More heal potions. We're close enough to blow up the boulder. Dad, stand back! Oh, there it goes. Oh shit, where's it going? Yo, I wonder if it would have uh, destroyed the battlefield. I wonder if that's a mechanic. Probably not, but you never know. We did it! Ruben, I knew you'd save me. Please head home to Mom. Right, you two be careful. Razor, let's return to Fireburg. Oh, here's what we're gonna do. You ready for this shit? Exit. Bam. How you like that shit? Oh, we have another battlefield. <clears throat> to tend to. Um, I actually want to go. Oops. Here, right? Thanks, Arian made it back. Okay, well, is there anything else? Oh, sh sorry buddy, I didn't mean to do that. You know what, I will buy some explosives. After I just viciously threw one at you, my, my good friend, I'm sorry. Um, What's my GP sitch? Oh, I got a bit here. Buy some more seeds. And let's definitely rest. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's really anything else to do here. I mean, they told me to go back to Firebug, but... I mean, I already went to uh, Ruben's house and his mom was just like, Hey, thanks, so I'm just gonna continue on. Fuck that. Fuck that. Oops. 
Alright, so we have... Oh, what's down here? Sealed Temple. Do you have 10 GP for a cup of coffee? <laughs> Fuck. He's so weird, man. Break heal potions. Break your potions. And a warp! Oh, here we go, guys. This was the warp I was looking for. I mean, it wasn't much, but I'll take it, right? It wasn't much, but I will take it. Okay, you know the name of the game, people. Let's fucking take out this battlefield. Ooh, ghosts, huh? Again, fire should fucking, uh... You know, kill these things rather easily, but... You know how it be, right? Let's just try the physical attacks. Looks like Ruben is still a... Certified G and a bona fide stud. So that's good news. exhilarating gameplay I will say but I do my best to make it as quick as possible oh come on now don't be whack oh if I get the two I can kill them all in one turn basically unless I miss of course <clears throat> So, I'm guessing I'm about probably midway through this game. Close to it, I guess. Um, I have two of the... F oh shit, I'm poisoned and asleep, goddamn. I have two of the four crystals, and I think it's like, you get the four crystals and then you go to like an end game area. So yeah, I'm about halfway, I guess. My thoughts on it are, it's, it's decent. I mean, I wasn't expecting to go into this, you know, like I'm playing Final Fantasy VI or some shit. I knew what it was, and I think it's delivering uh, in terms of, you know, what it is. It is a somewhat entry-level RPG with a, a cutesy design, some interesting light puzzle mechanics, right? And, um... A really good soundtrack. <clears throat> Banging soundtrack, honestly. The soundtrack is definitely the, uh... You know, the shining part of this game. For sure. It is one of the best soundtracks by far on the Super Nintendo. And you'd be surprised, man. If you had, like, a soundtrack goes a lot, like, a very, very long way. It means a lot for a game. Like, it could take a good game and basically make it great if the soundtrack's really good. And then you could take a good game, a perfect example, on the Nintendo, is 1942, not 1943, but 1942, has one of the worst soundtracks, specifically, basically as soon as you turn the game on, the first fucking level, it is grating as all hell, and by all accounts, it's actually a pretty fun game, but the soundtrack is so bad that I'd rather play it with the sound off, you know? So, props to uh, Mystic Quest for having a great soundtrack. I enjoy the, the little little puzzle aspects here and there. I've noticed this is a fucking thing, by the way. Just summoning extra monsters all the time. It's super annoying. Here we go. This is what we like to see. Bang, bang, done. Two to go. Give me another two ghoster. You don't listen to me, do you? Alright, 
last one here. Of course we don't attack first, for whatever reason, don't know why. Just the way it is, I guess. Alright, 1200 experience. Now we have the volcano as the next stop. But I will actually go back to town. And buy some more mega grenades, or the fuck they're called, mega bombs. Uh, and I will rest. Okay. Actually, do I need to buy? Nah, fuck it. I'm not gonna buy anymore. Let's just go to the volcano. <clears throat> soundtrack here holy shit that's fucking cool dude that is pretty fucking cool all right so we got the ghosts ah. I could jump over that. What is this? Oh no, not you guys again. Nightmare, oh shit. That's another uh, callback to early Final Fantasy. Ooh, Cerebus. Or, okay, apparently they're just werewolves, that's fine. Uh, let's try Blizzard. Shit. The fucking the werewolf sprite is hilarious when it's dying. Holy shit. Cure potion. Can I just jump across? Ooh, how do I get to that? Nightmares, not three. Thank you as well. Yeah, as long as Ruben gets that first kill, then Razor's bombs do a decent amount of damage. Usually one hit uh, killing everything, obviously. Alright, let's uh, cure and cure. Holy, it's a mist volcano in here. What the fuck? Are there going to be enemies popping up that I can't see? Hmm. What the fuck is this? Nothing? Yo, that's weird. That is some weird stuff. Okay. Uh-huh. What I was thinking. Okay, this uh, could actually be a pretty annoying fight. This could be annoying. Yep. Uh, hopefully they just attack him. Oh, here we go. 
There we go. Oh, that doesn't count? Okay. Looks like looks like a dead end, people. Looks like your boy went the wrong way. So we're gonna be backtracking. I need that mask in order to see the enemies. So basically, this is just the mirror thing all over again, right? I mean, it's the same exact mechanic. So we will jump on over and head to the right. Um, I think this is a dead end, but I don't really care. As long as I can see the enemies, I will actively seek them out and kill them. I'm not gonna wander around aimlessly though until I get the mask, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it looks like there's literal just dead ends. That's interesting. Kinda lazy, actually. But it is what it is. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. You can actually move? Oh shit, I'm the idiot. I'm the lazy one. <laughs> okay, there we go. I thought it was just a dead end cave. So what was that? Oh, nice. One of the wizard magic orbs of power, the white spell works something like bleach to blot out the evil and cleanse the world of monsters. It only targets groups of monsters, but does a thorough job nevertheless. Okay. Interesting. So now I'm wondering... Was that the right way before? And I was just being a complete moron? Very possible. Very possible, people. I am a moron. But either way... There are still some enemies to be killed out here. Yo, why did Razor go first? It just ruined my, uh, my juju. Why is he going first now? Did he, like... Get a speed increase or something on level up? I bet you, uh, I bet you the way that I went was probably the right way now. Knowing what I know about those caves. I thought for sure that it was just like a dead end, like it was one of those, uh, what was it, like Final Fantasy 2, right? There was a few dead ends and then there was also a few just empty rooms. I kind of figured it was just like a, you know, a troll thing, if you will. But apparently it was not. But, again, spinning everything positive here. Uh, we're about to completely clear the first area. So, could be worse. Refreshers. Heal potions. Alright, let's head up the right side. And then we are going to eventually have to go back to the left, though, unfortunately. And one of the shitty parts is, is if it's an optional route to find something, I couldn't simply cast Exit and go back in, uh, because I would then respawn everything, so. Tis a wee bit poopy. Yeah, I think I might have just dead-ended myself, surprisingly. I think I did. 
think I dead ended myself. Yep. Found some explosives at least. Alright, back to the other side we go. Alright. So, we actually want to go back down, and now we know that we can actually maneuver a little bit over here. So, heal potions. I'm shocked that there wasn't a fight there. Wow. I'm sure there will be here. Still no fight? Wow. Huh. Okay, here we are. Not that I wanted it, I'm just saying. We're all asleep. Everybody's just taking a fucking nap. We don't have things to do, I guess. Hopefully they don't respawn. All is good. What is with Razor going first now, man? I ain't about that life. I wish I could make him go second. <laughs> Honestly. Because now it's going to be a three cycle. Fucking useless. We got hit pretty good this fight, too. On top of that, so. Yikes! Hey, we found the mask! Nice. There she blows. The mask, favored by people who used to mine gems from the volcano. Even if you should enter an area filled with sight reducing gas, this mask will help you see everything around you. Cool. Well, now it looks like we have to head back down to the next levels again. It doesn't appear to be... Well, maybe? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure this isn't the way to go, but... Over there, clearly. Can we jump over this gap? If not, then... Nope, didn't think so. Fair enough. Okay, so now we can see all the enemies. That's interesting. But they didn't put too many enemies in here. And how do I get... I have to get over there. So, that is... Okay, yeah. I see, I see. I see, I see. God, this soundtrack's so good. Honestly. I know I'm just gonna keep raving about it, but holy shit. I mean, you wouldn't expect anything unless from a Final Fantasy game, but still. Is this... Uh, did I just... Yeah, this is the right way. That's what the initial uh, cave where I was like, Dude, you can't do anything in there! Thank you so much for striking first, Ruben. I appreciate it. 
You make things a lot more manageable for me. And now... We are approaching the boss. Another familiar sight in the world of Final Fantasy, uh, as well as RPGs. Then it looks like we have a pretty big, uh, sizable dungeon, which I don't know if I'm going to get to tonight. I wanted to beat the entire fire area, but this has been probably the longest one, which would make sense as the game goes along. Got a fucking gauntlet here before the boss, apparently. Goodness. Also, I uh, wouldn't say I'm running low on explosives, but I mean, we've used quite a bit here, I will say that. I think it's the best option overall. Cure potions. Hey, strike first. Words that I love to see. some explosive replenishment here. I guess cures wouldn't be bad either at this point. Who knows? Whatever. Whatever may be there, I'm fine with, I guess. I love how, like, the nightmare and shit just puts its hands up. It's like, oh yeah, I'm not doing anything. Just kidding. I'm gonna confuse you still. Because I'm a dick. Alright, what's here? Heal potions. That's fine. we're gonna level up again soon honestly oh shit there's the boss but we got two more random encounters to take care of because I don't take things sitting down okay there's experience on the table right in front of me yo not a fan of the whole like oh here's another enemy just kidding he didn't really kill us Let's go around on the other side. Our favorite, more nightmares, yay. Two, two, two. Ah. people. Uh, what are we spell-wise here? We're doing well. We're doing well spell-wise. That's fine. I like how he has fucking uh, 23 usages of life. Good god, how bad do you think I am? Alright, let's save here. And let's roll. Oh, no, no intro to Medusa! God damn, well, I'll give you one. Medusa. 
Don't be fooled by her mild appearance. Medusa's hair is actually a writhing nest of poisonous snakes. She could petrify and confuse you, so hit low and hit hard first, and apologize later. You got it. <clears throat> um, let's try to take out the the dogs. Fucking earthquake, that's not good. Oh, oh, I didn't want to do that. Son of a bitch, we didn't even kill the dogs. Fuck me. <laughs> didn't want to do that. But now it doesn't really matter, the bomb should be able to kill it. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Oh, the mist, though. The mist, though. Alright, let's heal Rubes. I said let's heal Rubes, goddammit. Thank you. Um... Let's fucking be stupid and try the claw. How about that? Oh shit, her hair! Yo, that hit Medusa a lot. What? Was that a crit? What was that? Oof, got a heal razor. Oh no! She looks like fucking Salem's Lot, like Nosferatu now. Alright, let's uh, make sure Razor doesn't croak. Oh my god, we missed and we might get killed. No! Now we're petrified. Oh shit! Okay. It's okay. Heal. Oh shit, no 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 no. Attack, attack. Don't! God damn it. Get the attack off, come on. I'm gonna switch to the, uh, the axe. I think it must have just been like a crit that I got. I got really lucky. Oh, doesn't matter. She's dead. <laughs> wow, there's really, uh, not much story there, huh? Medusa just fucking keels over and that's all she wrote. So, we can go back to town. Oh, that's interesting. That brought us back down? Huh. Well, I guess I'll... Take advantage of that by going back to the town, right? Get a free, uh, well, not a free, but an in stay. And, uh, replenish some bombs with our man here. Okay. Oops. For some reason, I always walk, like, straight ahead, even though it's not where we're supposed to. Ah, I just wasted a bomb. Hey, sorry about that, guys. Just throwing fucking major ginormous explosives in your establishment. <laughs> the finest one that I've seen yet, nonetheless. I fucking hate that. I hate every single place you go. It makes that loud, obnoxious noise, dude. The Lava Dome. Alright. Let's see what the Lava Dome has to offer. I'm pretty sure this is the final area for the uh, Fire Crystal. Into the Lava Dome we go. Back at it again with the sick soundtrack. I like it. This place seems uh, pretty vast in scale. Ooh, we have a new... couple new... <laughs> We have a reskin here called Hot Wings now, okay. And just a ninja. Well, let's attack the ninja, I guess. Oh yeah, that makes sense that the uh, the bomb wouldn't really do too much to Hot Wings, right? Let's roll with that, I guess. Oh, of course we miss. Why not? Not only did we miss, but we got outturned. Great. You 
you love to see it. <clears throat> All right, let's check out here. So this connects to something. Um, let me go back out here and kill this enemy real quick. Oh man, full heal. Give me a break. chest over there and keep going down this way mm. Mm. oh apparently apparently this is an endless map that's interesting that is certainly interesting Huh. Yeah, apparently it just keeps going. Very odd. Alright, let's heal. Well, I guess we saved by accident. Oops. Ooh, I wonder if the enemies keep respawning. That'd be kind of shitty, huh? Yeah, these guys are strong. Holy shit. Dual wielding, too. Let's kind of get our bearings uh, about us here in terms of where we are on the map, where we is. Um, I guess we'll see here. We're inside the lava dome. Oh, what the fuck is going on up there? Gold bars and shit? Huh. Okay, so we went into C, which is over there. Okay, I got it. <clears throat> Are those Medusa reskins over there? It seems like it might be. And this place is a little tough. This place is a little tough. Oof, that crit though. Oops, nope. We want to actually cure. Oh shit, I just realized Jin's back here, huh? Um, maybe let's try... The bombs. Oh my god. Worst case scenario. Alright, well let's do... That and that. And then hopefully kill them and focus on the Jin. Oh, I'm sorry. The if light. No longer known as the gym, it's fine. Definitely a lot weaker than the boss, so that's good. <clears throat> yeah, we're getting lots of experience in here, dude. We should probably be uh, leveling up at some point, I would assume. Bloop. And then I guess we probably throw a bomb? Indeed we do. Oh, shit. Mm. 
Oh my god, of course. Oh, I thought we got put to sleep. <clears throat> nah, there we are, that's sleep. Fuck. hit? Oh shit, now, uh... Nice. Now, uh, Razor knows life. Good stuff. Well, that was a... worthwhile endeavor, I would say. Time to claw. So are those fucking gold bars? Like, can I loot whatever the fuck that is? Or are they enemies or something? What's going on with that? I don't know. I do not know. Looks like these uh, these battles are just gonna take a little bit longer. Unless we uh, maybe level up, get lucky enough to start killing stuff in one hit. I'm not gonna lie though, we're, we kind of wrecked this fight. Damn. If it wasn't for that 222. Really happy with that. Alright, there's an exit. They probably legit have 650 HP. <clears throat> That's such a waste to have to hit them like that. But we want all the fights, baby. All of them. Yeah, they gotta have 650. That yeah, makes most sense. Ruben, you are so close to just fucking wrecking this shit for me, man. So close. Well, it looks like pretty much randomly <laughs> uh, we went into probably the best area first as far as loot. Just getting that life uh, spell. You know what I mean? Actually, let's have Razor attack Jin. Good, good, good. <clears throat> Yo, that's actually... We're getting fucked up. Oh boy. Oof. Alright, good. Oops. Wasted a cure. Again, just short. <clears throat> explosives and explosives. So, not great, but since we're clearing everything anyway, it doesn't really matter too much, right? So I guess we'll leave uh, this way, which will spit us out to K. Which is over here. That's cool. Some refreshers. And only one enemy to deal with. You like to see it. All day, every day, baby. Let's put on our kitty claws. Alright. So let's take a look here at the, the old macaroni. Uh, we just went in that way, so we're gonna want to go down. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me one gin, just one. Hey, 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 you just gotta talk to the game once in a while, right? Hmm. So we have a couple different routes to go. I think first we'll explore the the horizontal path. Nice. Can go up there. Oh, is that a new emblem? What is that? Looks like a switch or an emblem of some sort. <clears throat> okay then. It also looks like we can go up? But I don't think that that's an actual path, yeah. But might as well kill the, uh, the dual wielding double hitters. Great, keep attacking Ruben with fire. Heading here. Oh shit, we got petrified. No good, dude. Oh shit. Um. Yikes. Oh, I did not mean. Yes, good. I accidentally cast heal again because that stupid fucking saved whatever bullshit this game does. Cure potions. Oopsies, almost did it again. right here. Indeed it is. The easiest of work. Alright, so we just walked into uh, door M on this map here. 
There's lots of random bullshit down here. It doesn't even... No, I can get up to the next level. Okay. Okay, okay. And that brings me to E. Which could then bring me to F. Or G. Just doing some ratting here. G. O. There is an important uh, helmet here that I don't want to miss. Can't really quite figure out where the routing is. This is like by far the biggest area of the game. There's lots of branching paths. It gets a little bit confusing. Seed soon. Probably want to like honestly stock up on seeds before we leave this area. See how much stronger we are. <clears throat> Fuck. Well, we got a crit, but that's not indicative of our new strength. And then we missed. <laughs> what the fuck? How did we get. Oh no! We got double petrified, dude! Oh my god! What happens if we say no? I don't remember. You just start here? Well, I guess we're gonna focus on Medusa. Shit. Wait, how am I getting petrified? I'm so confused. How come Razor got petrified instantly? That doesn't make any sense. What did... What did it say? Is it just, was it per chance or something? Like, is it a percentage just to get petrified on attacking her? Well, that fucking sucked. God damn, dude. I don't know what the penalty is for dying in this game. Like, did we lose uh, gold or something? Because that'd be kind of shitty, honestly. Oops. Well, that bamboozled me, people. <clears throat> that bamboozled me. getting crits everywhere now, what the hell? Heal potions. Well, I guess we'll go this way first.
So it actually looks like I could have got to the Moon Helm really early from what I'm seeing, because it would have led me to... Well, actually, I take that back. I don't think I could have, no. I don't think so. Had to do some uh, lava leaping, and I think it would have been just a little bit too far. <clears throat> Alright, well, we learned our lesson here. Guess we'll uh, do this. Okay. potions. This is a uh, pretty enemy-filled area at the moment. Goddamn, dude. So I missed some enemies. Looks like I'd have to go back to the floor level? I think, right? Can I? Wait, hold up. Can I? Oh, I can go over there, yeah. Straight ahead. <clears throat> to uh, use a seed. <clears throat> oh man. <clears throat> that poison. Ultra crit right there, holy hell. Alright, let's actually just use a heal potion for once. We have like a million of them. And you know what? We'll use just some regular cures. Fucking Medusa. Ganging up on Razor. <clears throat> yeah, holy shit, dude. This place was fucking loaded with enemies. God damn. Alright, so now we're gonna work our way back up to the uh, top level. I told you guys, I'm clearing out these areas. The only way that I don't is if I literally somehow just forgot one. Otherwise, we're going out of our way to kill and loot. Get that experience. Reduces. Good, good, good. Alright, we should probably heal Reuben. Alright, so now we just walked through what was marked as N, okay. 
Holy shit. There better be some good stuff in here. God damn. Oh, we got a strike first. That's great. I bet you want to, like... It's gonna be some bullshit, right? Yeah, literally just cure potions. But you know what? It's a lot of experience, so let's just do it. Unfortunately, Ruben can't kill these guys in one hit, so it's a three-turner. Pending a miss. Come on, Ruben. Thank you. Every time I see Ruben's sprite, it actually looks like he's wearing like a full helm and he's running backwards. <laughs> Do you guys see what I'm saying? It almost looks like that black line is like for his eyesight. <clears throat> so I'm actually in the same spot as the moon helm, but it's on the other side, so I can't get to it from where I am at the moment. At least I don't think I can. Nah, okay. I definitely cannot. <clears throat> uh, we're confused now, people. We are confused. Oh boy, we're getting fired too. That's not good. Alright. Could have been worse. Thank goodness we were able to stock up on seeds, right? Holy shit. Place just is not fucking around. I mean, yeah, I could avoid all these battles, but what's the fun in that? You know? And now we're asleep, so we need to get him hit. Which, of course, he crits me. Fucking asshole. Hit Ruben, please. Thank you. Oh no, I just fucking used Cure again for no reason. I hate that, man. That's probably like the 17th time I said it in this playthrough. But it's fucking annoying. Why would I want to be on cure again, like when I'm going into this battle? Set me back to fucking attack. Jerk off. Oh my god. <clears throat> well, at least we got our attack through the confusion, right? Even worse. Alright, so when we head out of here, we're going to what's marked as E. Uh, we then have the ability to go to G or F. Um, F looks like it's a dead end, but we'll, we'll try it out anyway. And G... What the fuck is G? G is, uh... All the way on the other side there. Should be an interesting path. But yeah, over the, right there, that's the moon helm in that chest. <laughs> I just realized that the, um... The sprite for them when you walk into them is pink. But they're actually purple. So I wonder if we end up seeing like a reskinned pink version potentially. Ooh, we got critted. Oh, now we're blind. Those dirty ninjas using those crazy tactics. <clears throat> Oops, no, no. Okay. 
We are out and about, people. So yeah, I believe that this is a troll, but let's just go check it out anyway. Let's try out my cloth. I feel like I haven't status afflicted anybody with that thing. <clears throat> yeah, so it's just a troll, right? Just a troll, a dead end, people. And there is the door that we have to unlock with that switch. And <clears throat> I had mentioned that this loops. And you'll see. Oh shit. Maybe I should have been using the claw all along. <laughs> also, sorry if you guys heard that. I was uh, <laughs> running laundry and the thing just went off, but anyway. See, if I fall from there, I go back to, like, the beginning of the map, essentially. So we're definitely gonna go inside here. Oh wow, no enemies? Have I been in here before, maybe? We just got spit out into O. <clears throat> which is, uh... Where's O at? Oh, is another probably fucking monster littered area. Holy shit. It looks like it's very similar to that other one that I was in that had like qual fucking encounters. Or who knows, maybe they dispatched everybody there. The world may never know. Did we somehow not fucking kill any of them in the one round? That's awful. Hey, crit. Yeah, I'm st Oh shit, dude. Petrified. No good. A party of two against petrification enemies. No fucking good. Let's save it. Okay. So, we have... Multiple paths here. Um, where does I take us? Yeah, this place is fucking ginormous. It is really big. Let's just fart around. Yeah, the claw seems to be landing a lot of crits. Finally. I feel like when I used it the first time, it wasn't doing anything. Oh, shit. I was gonna say, we've been getting lots of experience, and the fights have definitely been a lot harder here than other areas. on the ground level. I can jump over those? Okay. <clears throat> oh, but it doesn't... I can't, uh... Interesting. Alright, so, indeed, I have to go up. Boop. We can go there and exit, or we can go over here and grab a chest. Definitely gotta take these guys out quick because of the, uh... petrification. potions <clears throat> so we could leave and go out door P uh, which will bring us to H I'm just kind of checking here where the fuck is H H is over by there okay so basically this is not a uh, way that you need to go but we're gonna do it anyway get some explosives
heal potions. <clears throat> Oh wait, I didn't even see all these. Oh my god, I can't even carry any more explosives, dude. Can't even carry any more. Alright, well, if I need some explosives, they're there. Alright, let's cure. And continue on. Again, guys, the bright side here is that, you know, even if we have to backtrack a considerable amount, we're killing everything in our path, so there will be no enemies. Fucking guy. Hey, we got a crit. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. Dude, I think I underestimated the claw. This thing's actually pretty legit. You know, my other weapon wasn't uh, one-shotting much anyway, so... Does it really matter? You know what I mean? Okay. Let's get a crit here, shall we? Stone me! Yeah, this fucking claw, man. I, I really underestimated it. It's starting to pay dividends. For sure. Alright, time to head up and start jumping. What is over there? Nothing! Nothing at all! Crit me! Hey! Just gotta talk to the game, baby. Okay, so yeah, dude, like... I'm telling you, early on when I used a claw, it didn't, like, it really didn't seem like it was doing anything. I wasn't critting, I wasn't putting enemies to sleep, all that kind of stuff, and now I am, so... I'm happy with it. It's, uh, turning out to be a really sick weapon. Major regrets on my end not using it more. But what can you do? First playthrough, you know what I'm saying? So, then after this, this particular area is clear. I also cleared out a few of the other ones. Um, there is a major one that I didn't really go into yet, which I'm assuming will probably be uh, how to get over to the helmet. I don't know. Could be wrong. The two major things we have to do still, we have to get the moon helmet and we have to figure out the switches. Let's see where this takes us. Okay, so... That needs to be opened by that. So, again, we had to come through here no matter what. Could have been worse. <clears throat> Looks like we might be, uh... 
dropping ourselves back off of that one ledge where uh, brings you back to the beginning on a loop. Is this the way out? I think so. Uh, or no, this was the way... Yeah, we wanted to go up to... Oh... Right? <clears throat> How do I get down? There we are. So yeah, that's the path to the end of the level, but we still need to open the switch, we still need to get the moon helmet. So I think that our next strat is indeed dropping down. So now we should be back towards the beginning, right? And C would bring us to that place, which we don't need to go there. Um, can we get to... Well, we went there too. This is the main entrance, right? We never went into one of these two doors over here, I feel like. Am I wrong? Yeah, we didn't go here yet. I don't think this is a major area or anything, but we definitely didn't go here, so... Just one less area to cross off the list, you know what I mean? Body slammed. Damn. Mm. Alright, yeah, definitely have to heal up now. Mm. And what do we get? Explosives! Hey! Don't need those. And that's fine. Okay, so that's one more area cleared. Um, I definitely have not gone over here yet, surprisingly. Um, where does D take me? Hmm. Yeah, we got a couple places to explore, people. We got a couple places to explore over here. Looks like I've now hit the section of the of the uh, the map that I haven't done anything yet. I pretty much went on the sides, apparently, but not uh, towards the middle. Cure potions, okay. Alright, so we have D. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I did go up here, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. I did, okay. So it is the one above that I didn't go. Because I remember seeing that switch before. So I'm pretty sure, unless I missed another door somewhere, that this is uh, what brings me to where I need to be. I hope. <laughs> Otherwise we're gonna be on a wild goose chase here. <clears throat> Do -do -do -do. Brings me to B. Which, yeah, brings me into that area. So I'm wondering if there's a puzzle. Um, in this next area, there might be. Because I'm seeing something that looks like where I need to go, but... Alright, let's hope for some crits. Just don't petrify me. That's all I'm asking. Mm. 
I'm all shook now after that double petrification. Holy enemies, Batman. Oh, we gotta strike first, so that's good. Should get out of here completely unattacked. Just kidding. Just kidding. Hey! We stunned him or whatever there, so... Good stuff. <clears throat> Let's uh, grab a quick save before we fight a million enemies. Another strike first. Good stuff. I wish there was a quicker way. You know, this kind of setup actually reminds me of like fighting in the battlefield. Because there's like, what? How many enemies are here? Like eight or something? Maybe even ten? I don't know. I definitely gotta heal again. Oops. Actually, I think I found the way over, people. I think I have. Get that moon helmet. So that's good. First, we want to clear this area of enemies and also uh, consumables. Presumably. Lots of, uh... oh no, we missed. That sucks, dude. Oh boy, what a horrible first turn, huh? Uh... Try not to miss, Ruben, please. Pretty, like, paramount that you connect for me. Especially since now we're getting bamboozled. Look at this shit. Awful. out Medusa. Oh, nice. Just one. We like to see this. Throw us a bone once in a while here, game, right? Thank you. Oh, cool. trying to find out where the fuck Q brings you. There's a door down at the bottom. <clears throat> oh, I missed- I didn't realize I was blind. Son of a bitch, dude. Now we're both blind. <laughs> Great! Now we're asleep. Good. And don't miss. Good. Um, oh, cool. So the door down here brings us to the switch, and the door up top brings us to the moon helmet. Yay! Oh, shit, I'm blind. Fuck. Okay, we're good. Ah, 
Actually, let's top off Rubes. Uh, let's go get the Moon Helmet first to raise our defense. Right? Please tell me this works. What? Hold on. Okay, there we go. I was like, where do I do it? <clears throat> I could have sworn that you could blow this up. Blow that up, excuse me. But uh, apparently you can't. the what I believe to be the path for the moon helmet and we're blinded great 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 and now we're asleep how about that oh my goodness Oh, well, now I see why they give so many heals in here, huh? Taint easy. Lots of status afflictions. Lots. enemies to clear out here. Give me one Jin. Ah, you fucker. Oh, of course we miss. Oh my god. Hey, we leveled up again, though. This place has been a godsend, man. I've leveled up like three times. I wish it would start showing it a little bit more in my, like, attack power or something, but... Oh, man, didn't kill any of them. That was actually a mistake on my part. I should have doubled up. I forgot that uh, Ruben's not strong enough. It also appears that your companions never level up, which is an interesting uh, mechanic, I guess. But... Kind of weird, honestly. I mean, they're fighting with you, you know. I know some of them leave clearly, but pure potions that I'll use right away. We got a uh, eclectic bunch up at the top there, guarding the moon helm. Keep firing rubes, baby. He'll eat that shit for breakfast. Hey, a strike first. Nice. Just short, rubes. If you leveled up like the rest of us, you'd be one-shotting everything here. Another strike first. In that case, let's take you out. Easy peasy. Just kidding, we missed. And there it is, baby, the moon helm. Take a look at it. Or was it right here? Defense power nine. Moon helmet. Said to have been fashioned from a fragment of one of the world's three moons. 
This helmet is very light and will dramatically increase your defensive power. It radiates a powerful aura of energy. Strike first. I feel like when we get strike first, we miss all the fucking time, dude. We could have had a clean sweep there. Instead, we're getting hit for a bunch of extra bullshit. Anyway. We got our moon helmet. That's what we came here for. Now the next step is to go flick that switch, and then we have to backtrack to that one area. Um... So we can walk through the, uh, the door to the final area of this dungeon. Switch area is down here. Give me a crit. <clears throat> oh, come on. Well, we got a crit. We asked for it, we got it, so... The, uh, the, the gaming universe gives and takes, right? We got confused, but we got the crit. And then, of course, we miss. Because why not? Nice. Stunned his ass. Go hit that switch, baby. Oh, we have a fucking pathway to the switch still. God damn. Damn, dude, Ruben's almost dead. <clears throat> I must say they are making me work for it. This place is nuts. I can only imagine the uh, we still have another uh, labyrinth, you know, to go through for the the wind crystal, and then I'm sure the the final one's fucking crazy. I mean, obviously, again, I, I don't have to kill all these enemies. I'm just doing it because. I mean, fuck, dude, I leveled up three times in this dungeon, I think, with Razor. Might have been four, I don't even remember. There's just been so many enemies yielding so much experience. Alright, there's the switch. But just a single gin. I love it. There we go, the door is open. So again, you could cast Exit and leave, but then you'd still have to fight, I don't know how many people. Quite a bit, I think. Oh yeah, that would actually be a horrible strategy. Because that one area that we have to go through is filled with enemies, so... No thanks. No, thank you. So yeah, we have to go back to that one area where we were, uh, we were doing a lot of platforming. So... Let's take a quick look to see how we got back there. Um, I believe it was that one, so we need to go into O. And we are there. How does one get to O again? I don't remember. Um. Fuck, I'm not even seeing it. Let me see the EFG, Age of JK. Huh. Yeah, we have to go from I. 
Oh, we have to go to G, so... Um, how do we get over there? Actually... Nope, we can't do that. Fuck me, dude. So we have to go to F? How does one get to F? Oh no, we don't have to go to F. That's the, that's the troll one. M. Yeah, this place is a fucking maze, man. We get from here to there, blah, 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 blah. So where would D take me? D would take me to M. M would take me to N. N would take me to E. E would take me to G. G would take me to... Oh, okay, so damn, that's a... That is long-winded, man. <clears throat> that is long-winded. So anyway, I think you have to go here. And again, luckily, we already cleared everything out. Dude, if they respawned, holy shit, that would be some next-level <clears throat> garbaggio. Wrong way. Alright, now we gotta do... Nope, not there. Okay. Slowly but surely, people. Slowly but surely. Alright, so now we got spit out there. Right. Uh, in. We are directly above the door. Oh no, we got spit out to E. Oh wait, no, hold on. I think we actually might have skipped. Hold up. Yeah, this is where we need to go. This is it. Back to this room. And then we gotta work our way um, back to the stairs. Start jumping. We don't want to exit down there, though. We have to go up. All right. Jump over here. Go down. Jump over. Use the stairs. Okay. Here we are. The final area. <clears throat> are these new? I think we've encountered them before, but I can't remember. You, Medusa. <sighs> Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, it didn't matter. Just lost like two seconds. Speed run's over, people. Speed run is over. More cure potions. That's actually good. Let's see. There is a wall to blow up. That is too big of a gap.
dead end. It's our girl. Hey, we gotta strike first. Nice. Should be able to two cycle this. As long as we don't miss. Give me a break, dude. How'd you get that priority over me? Again, I want to apologize if any veterans of Mystic Quest have watched this playthrough. I did not learn the way of this claw until it was like far too late, because I'm sure we're going to get another weapon soon. It'll be better. But thoroughly enjoying it now. Again, I must have gotten pretty shitty RNG earlier when I was using it or something. I, I have no idea, but the amount of like uh, crits and skips that I'm getting with it. Whew. Fire. No pun intended. Cure potions. Oh, here we are, people. That's the boss. Alright. Let's give you some deep lore here. It's the end of the line for you. This is the Dual Head Hydra. This beast, a gigantic double-headed dragon, is draining the crystal of fire. He commands all the dirty tricks in the book and can confuse. Oh boy. And confuse, paralyze, and put to sleep, and petrify even the strongest person. What's more, it can cast a thunder spell and delights in doing so as often as possible. So, this dude is basically like the worst enemy by far. He can do like every status affliction under the sun, and he apparently spams thunder. Defeat him and the crystal will shine again. As a bonus, you'll receive the sun coin. And he's got 1400 HP. 125 battle strength, 145 defense. So let's actually try Blizzard first, because, I mean, we are in a fire area. Let's see how much this hurts. 327. Oh, shit, dude. No good. Um, let's try the claw. 305. And we are up against it. Oh! What? Dude, I thought Ruben was good against fire, man. Also, this thing didn't mention anything about fire. <laughs> it said that he uh, fucking spammed thunder, man. That's not that shit. Oh, a crit. That was good. That's what we like to see. I want to get, like, out of this uh, cure loop. So I can start fucking double attacking here. Yeah, dude, it doesn't matter. Ruben's uh, resistance to that fire is just not good, apparently. Huh. Oh, we got a crit. Ah, uh, we got the heal again. Well, let's cure Ruben. So I'm starting to think that the guide uh, made a mistake. And instead of the Thunder Spell, he pretty clearly spammed some sort of fucking, um, fire attack. <laughs> oh, dude, Razor's dead. Oh, no. Good thing Ruben knows life. The fact that you get fully healed on life, too, is a big thing, man. Alright, we need to... Cure and then use like a heal potion or something next turn. Poison breath again. Alright. Um. Yeah, let's use a heal. Well, you know what? Fuck it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> let's go. We need to start doing some damage. Damn it. Now we need to cure. Alright. Let's cure ourselves and attack with Ruben. Good. Alright, we have to get this cure off first. Thank you. Huh. 
I mean, poison's the least of my concern. You know what I mean? All right, let's try to get a double attack in here. Crit. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's gonna go ahead and be a heal for me, because I don't want to get double petrified here. Let's uh, risk it for the biscuit and do a double attack. He's pissed. He's on his last legs. Oh, now he's using thunder. Okay. Um, I will cure. Good thing I did. Let's do a double attack. Got a crit. Nice. Gotta imagine maybe two more cycles. Okay, we have to get a cure off quickly here. Good. Oh, well, definitely not. Oh, oh, awful turn. Awful fucking turn. All right, we have to get this heal potion off. The petrification and the miss. All right, double attack. Come on. Somebody get a crit. He's literally on the ground. Actually, let's go and hit. I wish the blizzard spell did more damage to this guy. It almost doesn't even seem worth it. The fact that I can have a higher chance to get a crit with the claw seems way better to me. Now we're going to have to do a self-cure. Oh, we didn't get it off, dude. Oh, thank goodness. Oop. We are out of white magic. Yo, this guy's got to be dead soon, though. Honestly. There we go. Perfect. Perfect timing. Seriously. Couldn't have been better. Whew. Damn, that was tough. That place was fucking tough, dude. We did it. There's one crystal left to go. I remember a person from Windia saying something about a crystal. Windia? Where's that? To the southeast of the focus tower. Oh, what? Oh, does that clear a path? I'm sure it clears a path, I hope. We found the sun coin. Oh, the uh, thing blew up on its own. Interesting. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Yo, this place was rough, man. Um, I do want to save, and I also want to drop some more lore on you. So the life spell that I got earlier, for some reason the guy decided to put it at the end of the fucking <laughs> section for this. <clears throat> Use this spell to bring your ally back to life. Once known only by the servants of a single powerful sorcerer, the popularity of this spell grew during the Warring Ages. It is now handed down in some families, just like furniture. And then the sun coin, the key to one of the four sealed doors in the focus tower, energized by the crystal of fire. The sun coin is ready to unlock the next pathway and open the next adventure. So there you go. <clears throat> um, should we stop back at town? I, th eh. yeah, you know what? I will. Um, did Razor's spells replenish? They did, but I actually want to buy some more seeds because I don't know where, where and when I'm going to get them again. Uh, this was the seed person, right? Sure. Let's actually buy 20 of them. How many do I have now? 33? Is that enough, you think? Let's buy... There we go. An even 40. And uh, it looked like there was a new battlefield that popped up, so we will definitely go clear that shit out. Then we gotta head back to the focus tower. Oops, wrong way. 
I'm curious to watch a speedrun of this game after I beat it. I feel like obviously they're gonna skip like a million fucking, you know, battles. So I just wanna see like what the strats are. Double gin, huh? Oh, and we get surprise attack to boot. That's just wonderful. That's just wonderful. And then we miss. <laughs> oh my goodness, now we get crit- This has been a fucking disaster, look at this shit. Awful. Holy shit. Took long enough. That was only one, one of 10. But you know me, we're gonna keep ripping through. Oh shit, double Medusa. Yo, what is with the, what is with the, oh my God, we just got killed. <laughs> what is with the unexpected, okay. I'm in a fucking battlefield, dude. Why am I unexpectedly getting attacked? What the fuck? Oh my god. Is there something about this battlefield where, like, you just get fucking swarmed and you can't hit anything? Yo, we got petrified. So why does Razor get petrified every time he fucking attacks her? Is there a reason? You guys are seeing that, right? Because he doesn't. Ruben doesn't, but Razor does all right, I'm starting to think that you get unexpectedly attacked every single time in Battlefield 18. <sighs> I think it's pretty obvious at this point, right? Pretty obvious. The fucked up part is, if that's the case, you don't even get anything, like, super good out of this. You really don't. You only get a, it looks like an experience dump. Okay, so I wasn't unexpectedly attacked there, so what the fuck? I don't know, dude. Yo, what does white do? I don't remember. Well, well, I'll be damned. White might be my uh, my ticket out of this. Let's see. Nice, dude. I'm assuming it works like white magic from the like original Final Fantasies, where it fucks up undead people. I wonder how it would do against them. Let's just see, why not? Why not? So not as effective, but still effective enough to kill them in one hit, so... Nice. There we go again with the unexpected attacks. You know, we're just in a battlefield, guys. But, but we're not expecting an attack, okay? They must be sleeping on the battlefield. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Here we go again. Thank you. Give me a Jin. Yes. Because I want to save the white spell for a potential Medusa. You know? Oh, the miss. The fucking miss. The unexpected attack. The miss. The this. The that. Unrelenting. This has been the most dreadful battlefield area yet. By a long shot. <clears throat> well, let's cure and cure. 
Here we go. We saved one for Medusa's, which we didn't get unexpectedly attacked, because why not? Why not round out Battlefield 18 with another unexpected attack? That's just how we do. The fuck you, Jin. Go to hell. And die. Clean them out for some measly fucking experience. How about that? Alright, so we need to go back to the Focus Tower. Wintry Temple. Um, let me think here. Do I... I guess I'll go... this way? First, but I don't think... Yeah, I gotta get back to the main level, right? To use my coin. Uh, can I do that by jumping again? I don't remember. No, I can't. I have to go... I think I have to go... into that side spot, right? Pretty sure. Right here. Am I making this up? Yeah, I might be. <laughs> I have to approach the focus tower, I think, from a different entrance. <laughs> I definitely do. Alright, so how do I get back there? Not this way. Let me see. How do I get to the main entrance? It might just be a lot of backtracking. <clears throat> Can I get through it through here? Well, I might as well loot while I'm here, right? Free shit. And this warps me back into here. There we go. Again, guys, easy way to farm 99 and whatever item you want. Just keep doing that over and over again because they keep respawning. So. Can I get to the focus tower from right here? Yeah, I think this is it. This is the main entrance, right? Or at least I can get to the main entrance from here. By jumping? Question mark? I think so. Did I have to jump over that? I guess I do. Hmm. Okay. There we are. There's our boy. Let's go loot this real quick. More explosives. Earlier, oh yeah, that's right, I did use two of them in that place. Through like an errant one, and then one of them that actually did something. Hurry to Windia, but be on the lookout for Captain Mac's ship. All right. Anything over here? Just a dead end. That's what I figured. <clears throat> okay, so now we're on this side of the focus tower. Whoa! Oh, god damn! Good thing we were striking first here. I was not prepared for this. Let's. Oh, I don't even have a fucking white. Shit, I got none of that left. God. Let's try a fire all, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that did a lot of good, huh? Did a lot of good. Yo, this place- this is fucked. We might get wiped out here. 
I was not expecting this fight. Oh, what? So that ninja was way more powerful than the... That might have been one of the enemies from earlier in the game that I just wasn't really uh, recognizing. Okay. Much to do about nothing. Yo, this music though. God damn! I honestly cannot say enough good things about this soundtrack. It's so fucking good. Alright, so we found the arrow spell. This spell lets you send a whirlwind into the midst of your enemies, one used by farmers to keep flocks of birds away from their lands. The arrow spell is now stronger and is particularly effective against winged monsters. Okay. Okay. So I guess my question is then... How the fuck do I get out of here? We opened that shit up and then we went down to get the spell. So where's my exit? <clears throat> you know, without going back into the, uh... Like, is there an exit here? Oh, I didn't see that door. I guess I must have not gone down. Yeah, I probably only went down to, like, here. I didn't see that door. Okay. Okie doke. We got the focus tower. The rope bridge, huh? Well, I think that might be a good place to cut this off for me tonight. So let's take on the rope bridge and continue on to, uh, was it Windia? <laughs> 